Welcome to another episode of the Bastard Sermon. I'm one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker. Patrick Seda. And Luke Young. And this week, we got one quarter of the delightfully macabre podcast on Jack Griffin. Everybody, give it up. Light applause Thanks, guys. Not in studio. Very, God very damn it, sad Zoom. clap, but I'm God, happy that you're you. here, bud. Was, I didn't clap for myself this time because I didn't want to be ridiculed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Why didn't you have really Haley clapping a lot for about you? Someone. She's in the background. She could have been standing on the bed, like giving you a round of applause the entire time. Where was she? She could have been. <laughs> she could have clapped for me, but she doesn't. <laughs> I demand a, a clap every time that I do anything. That my grandpa will just come out of his bedroom as soon as I finish cooking and just stand oh, there and golf clap. Cody started ex- another bathroom that trip. Ex- <laughs> that explains why Cody acts the way he acts. He needs that applause. <laughs> Wow, Cody's <laughs> achieved another drunken erection. That's a one out of a hundred scenario, and then a, a round of. His little dicks a lot, a little bit less little. <laughs> yeah, exactly. all right. That is <laughs> that that is applause worthy. Guys, Look, I gotta you, start. You guys, this. you guys might not understand, but that half an inch makes a difference. Okay. Oh, oh my god, dude, it is so necessary. He's a shower. Yeah. yeah, I mean a grower. <laughs> These two got fat That's old dongs me. just hanging loose in their pants. They like they can wear gray, gray sweatpants out in public and not feel ashamed and not have to fucking load their pants down with quarter rolls and fucking l- keys yeah. with lanyards and stuff like <laughs> that. It's so like a, that sounds terrible. <laughs> it's almost like a medical sweatpants uh, and put heavy shit in your pockets and just asking to, to distract, to distract. And then no, Pat and Luke though they'll they'll actually thrust forward with every step forward. It's the it's a strange behavior. <laughs> it, it's really weird. It's like almost a medical emergency every time you get a boner because of the lack of blood flow. Everybody <laughs> thinks you saw a ghost. I don't know what you're talking about at all. Because giant dick blood, you know, <laughs> erection blood. You no, know. that doesn't isn't a problem. You know what I'm in talking about life. all the blood goes here. Never the had that issue. You get lightheaded because it's so large. Yeah, you know just... what I'm talking about, Cody? Nope, You've I never, sure don't. Like, stumbled <laughs> over, like nearly passing out, walking from the bathroom to the to the bedroom. Why is this half of this podcast just getting ridiculed for their small penis? Come on, Jack. We gotta fucking we gotta <laughs> step it up. We gotta bring it back. You know Jack's what? Jack's got some swinging past the heat. his knees, bro. I do not. What we can do, Cody, uh, if like we forget our house keys, we yeah. can just unzip, stick it in, give it a little twist, and we oh, can yeah. unlock the door. <laughs> you can lock it with, with all your the dick. little ridges in it. It's yeah. called lock dick. <laughs> we can call ourselves a tic tac attack. They cannot. Oh yeah, <laughs> that dude. That's fucking. Thank awesome. God for that. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, I got to start off with this. Uh, this is a. Uh, this was a fucking amazing thing that happened, and. Uh, I really appreciate my co-host a tremendous amount, and I'm not sure why they did this for me, but Pat's been telling me for, like, a week and a half or two weeks that him and Luke got something for me, and they're going to, like, that Pat's going to bring something over to the house, and I was like, what is it? And I'm, like, fucking around, like, don't bring flaming bags of dog shit to my house. Like, I, no one's going to be happy to stomp out poop on their front yard, but... (laughs) Like, he's like, nah, yeah, I got something. It's, I'll drop it off. I'm like, what the fuck does he have? Like, I'm, I don't even know what I'm thinking. I'm like, what's he about to bring me? What do you honestly think it was? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if I hadn't idea, quit you know? drinking, I would assume it was booze. He cause... must have really thought that it was a bag full of dog shit. Because he <laughs> said it to us like six times in the group chat. Like, yeah. really? Like, I don't want, I want to have to go out and stop flaming dog shit. It's like, really? Like, we spend money on this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys both have dogs. Come on. You didn't have to go out. You didn't have to outsource for dog shit. But, uh, yeah, so I thought I thought it was Hitman 3, to be honest, because Pat said he was going to let me borrow it, so I thought he was going to surprise me. But I, then I was like, wait, he, he said he was going to let me borrow it, so that doesn't make any fucking sense. But, so, anyways, Sunday rolls around, and fucking... Uh, the previous day was pretty weird, and the last, like, it, it's been a fucking strange uh, month, and uh, it kind of uh, after a weird fucking really bad day the day before, and Pat decides that he's going to show up today to, to drop off whatever he's got for me, and he gets out of his car, and he's got, like, this bag. I might have the, I don't know, did I get rid of the bag? I might have thrown it, it was away. just a little Christmas like bag. Yeah, it was just a little Christmas bag, and he was like, I got this for you, and I'm like... What what is it? And I looked inside of the bag, and there's Hitman One inside of the bag, and he got me Bioshock on PS like two whole ass PS4 games. There Fuck is yeah. this bag of beef jerky. I was at uh, the podcast one time, and Pat had this fucking Nashville hot beef jerky, and I loved it. I thought it was like the best beef jerky. Best I've beef ever jerky eaten around in my entire life. And there's a bag of that in a big Ziploc bag, and I'm like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" And the Split the Abyss CD is in there, and then there's a Split the Abyss sticker. 
and uh, this this uh, a tattoo Dana. Dana's tattoo Goon Squad fucking uh, sticker in there, and I was like, this is fucking amazing, and I'm already like choking back tears, but I'm like, don't cry in front of your friend, <laughs> be a man, men don't cry, like the fucking <laughs> stupid shit, but uh. I was just, I was like choked up, and then he, I was like, thanks man, you want to come in? He was like, yeah, but wait, that's not all. And he whips out this big like triangular shaped box, and I'm like, what in the fuck is that thing? And I didn't read it, and he was like, come on, let's just go in, we'll get a knife or something like that. And like, I get down to the basement, and I'm like, what the fuck, like, why Why is it Christmas Day? It's, uh, what, it was like January, what is it, day? Uh, uh, 31st or some shit like that. I'm like, this it was is this past Sunday. It's not my birthday. It's not Christmas. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Like, why are you guys getting me gifts? But then I get down to the basement and before I opened the box, I saw that it was like, that it said guitar on the side of it and just fucking full on had a meltdown right there in front of Pat. Like a, Pat, how much of a puss did I look like crying in front of was <laughs> He it... cried instantly. It was, it, it was touching, you know? I was like, I knew he'd like <laughs> Like uh, Luke and I knew he would like it, but when he started crying, I at first thing I said, "Oh, don't cry, man! Don't, don't cry, dude!" <laughs> like, oh, don't don't do that, you yeah, fucking please. bitch! <laughs> I'm taking different. it back yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was kind of the energy, and Pat gave me like a weird hug too. He was like reaching over the box, the guitar box, to like pat me on the shoulder. He's like, "Ah, don't cry," or you can. I'm just kidding. Ah, I don't know what to yeah, do. I was like, oh, maybe you <laughs> can't cry. It's two two grown men crying. You have a kid on the couch. What the fuck, Cody? Like, you know, I, I couldn't have gone. Like the exact opposite way, I would have laughed exactly the way I did. Yeah, I couldn't. If you started to cry like that in front of me, like, "Oh, you fucking big bitch!" You fucking... <laughs> I'm recording this right now. I'm getting my camera out. Don't let them <laughs> Just embarrass stop. me. Don't let them stop. No. That would have been the payoff. <laughs> that would have been how you got your money back on it. Is all the all the vids, all the vid views on YouTube, Con- <laughs> so you can monetize the video of me crying like a bitch. Yeah. You just being like. <laughs> We, we exploited you for laugh. some views, basically. Uh, I was I was gonna use it for uh, the new bastard sermon Patreon side content called fucking... <laughs> video <laughs> Cody crying, and uh, and it would have just in our intro would have been you crying. Oh man, just you crying, yeah. not like not even edit like edited or, Ugh, or like fine. remastered, remix. It would have just been you crying, and then me and someone else talking shit about you for. It's this whole build up for a whole week. Like, hey, we got a special <laughs> video gonna be on our Patreon. You better subscribe and all these people start subscribing to our patreon and it's just a 10 second clip of cody bawling his eyes out i would uh i'd like upgrade my subscription to see that as long as it's like a weekly thing yeah weekly absolutely put it in a 10 dollar totally tier it. i cry a lot i should start videotaping it if i know i could get some scratch out of it yeah i'll whore myself yeah, every time you cry cody put it on the patreon people will love it yeah i'll cry whore myself for a little extra cheddar in my pocket whatever oh, God. but uh yeah, it was fucking touching, like, on top of me being completely emotionally distraught. So, Pat, I'm sorry that I broke down like a bitch in front of you, but uh, what popped care, out man. of the box was this beautiful fucking Jasmine guitar, which uh, I hadn't heard of Jasmine before, and uh, I asked Nick Ruholt that I work with, and he plays in a couple bands. He's been on the show before and shit like that. I was like, do you know anything about them? And he was like, it's like the... Uh, I forget the brand that he used, but he said that the, the, it's like the... Epiphone to uh, Les Paul of like a guitar like that's like three thousand dollars, and I was like, "What the fuck?" He was like, "Yeah, those are nice ass guitars." I was like, "Hey, it has like a super beautiful sound. Like it's super, it's loud. There's a big cutaway at the bottom, so you can get real high up on the fretboard and shit like that. So when I'm practicing my death solos, I can fucking <laughs> get all the way down there and shit on an acoustic guitar for God knows what reason." But uh, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful gift, and I slapped the Dana's tattoo uh, sticker on it. And thank you guys so fucking much. Oh, I appreciate the fuck out of you. I've told you in private and on in messages, but God, I gotta now. I just want to like do something really nice for you. But why did you why did you guys do it? I what was the motivate? Was it just you were going through a hard time? You were going through a hard time, and you know it's COVID. You fucking feel lonely and shit. And when you got a lot of shit going on, man, like yeah, you, know, man, you gotta that... know when your friends are there for you. At yeah, least that, right. that's what I would want someone to that do for it. me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to do what I would want done to me to my friends. You know, like, I wanted to make sure that we watched out for you and let you know that, hey, you're not alone, bud. So what Pat's so. saying is he wants a new guitar. Yeah. That's... I want a better guitar than the one. I want a, like, I want a new bass. Yeah, a can newer I... bass. Can I get an idea of the amount of money that you two spent so that I can fucking figure out how to get you guys back <laughs> you somehow? Don't have to get a sh- you don't need to get me anything. I was oh, just man. joking around. 
I like how Pat said you don't have to get me anything because Luke was over here like, what am I getting in return? Luke, Luke's a little well, greedy, though. Well, if you didn't know, HG Gundams are only 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on one, seriously. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Dude. No, 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 don't no, give no, me no. Fucking anything. Yeah, I don't want anything. No, that, that's that's definitely the new reason. That's thank you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you guys fucking steak dinners every night and fucking suck your giant hogs. I don't know at the same time. I will suck our dicks. at least one. I will accept at least one steak dinner for sure. I'll Dude, I got you. For I got sure. you on a steak dinner. Whenever fucking we can all get together and like mm-hmm. do some shit. Let's go. Fucking do Dude, that. I'll get sick right now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm immune for like another two weeks, so I think I'm good still. I'm out licking doorknobs and fucking wiping yeah, my dude. my ass barehanded or whatever. At this point, I'm convinced I can't fucking get it. Uh, there's five people who live in my house, and four of them had it. I didn't. I got tested like three separate times. Um, I've had a couple different COVID scares at this point, and I could just keep testing negative. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. I'm like a superhuman. Did Haley get it? Yeah. yeah How did she you not it. get it? Exactly. She literally, she was like coughing in my face and like <laughs> licking my arm, basically just going like, no, I tested positive. So you're going to test positive too. The next day I got my results she- back and it said negative. I was like, okay, well, I got to take another fucking test. <laughs> I want to make sure I heard this <laughs> right. You're saying, I mean, I know it's pretty much inevitable for you to get it. If you live with someone that has it pretty mm-hmm. much, except for you. But yeah, she yeah. said, I have COVID and she licked you. Yeah. She said, You're going to get it now, too. Yeah. I mean, we we had to quarantine and not go to work regardless. <laughs> so it was I like, think you guys I think we're quickly overlooking the possibility that Jack Griffin could possibly have the cure in his blood. Well, now yeah, possibly. we need to call the CIA is going to break into his house and harvest his blood. Can we harvest you, Jack? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe for money. Uh, for COVID cure. I mean, yeah, if, if I make the money, then absolutely. you won't survive the procedure. Maybe I'll you go, have the immunity. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Aren't there people with the uh, immunity? Did they debunk that? I don't follow the news. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Dick about it. Pat, you're you like probably- up to you got like cell phone updates like they're fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting text alerts and uh, I got a little <laughs> that flies by and gives me little notes if the Internet's not fast enough or my service. Pat has a COVID no. Falcon with a little, <laughs> a little scroll in a bottle of the COVID updates. I mean, I'm I, you know, there's billions of people on Earth. I, the chance of someone being immune, I feel like it's kind of like a high possibility, but the rarity of it, uh, you know, it's just it, it's so rare, probably. But I don't know. I don't know that shit. But what I probably would assume why you didn't get it is you probably got it at some point and you're asymptomatic. <sighs> and when they got it and when you were getting tested, anytime you had a scare, you might have been at your uh, antibody phase or whatever. You know what I mean? That's what I'm guessing, because like, I don't know, it was our roommate uh, Jude had it first and they work in like they work at DHL. So it's, you know, uh, in a fucking warehouse full of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tyler works from home. I think he was the second one to show symptoms. And then Nick, Nick and Tyler around the same time. Haley, you didn't really have symptoms until probably like three or four days into you. Or like after you tested positive. Yeah. Lack she just of lost, taste. Yeah, that was it for her. Just her sense of taste. That's all you guys I anything got. weird during all this? I mean, I feel like I'd eat the weirdest shit. So like, could garlic uh, paste in my back of my mouth or something and see if I taste it. We were about to record an episode of Delightfully, uh, uh, Delightfully Macabre one night. And Crenshaw took a shot of tequila. And he was like, no, nah, I can't taste this. I'm going to pour another one to be sure. And he poured a second shot. And then he was like, I don't know. I think I tasted a little bit. Poured a third shot and slammed it. And he was like, well, maybe one more for good measure. And I was like, dude, no, you're just an alcoholic. Like, that's not. <laughs> you're, just, you're just lying now. <laughs> but yeah, I've never seen somebody straight face drink tequila like that. So tequila is horrific. Like, was it gold uh, label? No. Okay. No, this is Crenshaw we're talking about. All right. Okay. Do you it was think, like uh, Montezuma. <laughs> With the lack of taste and smell, like let's say you eat that spicy beef jerky, Cody, is like, is your tongue gonna feel the sensation of like the spiciness? They say that, that. Well, they say that the receptors that work with capsaicin are different than the ones that are affected by the other smells and tastes. So apparently, hot foods are still, you could still hot. taste when you have COVID. Hmm. But uh, I'm curious about that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, is it neurological? How do they? How does that shit work? Because my brother, he's his head know. smacked the side of a semi, so he had a traumatic brain injury and fucking. Uh, now he can't smell anything at all. He can't ever. smell he can't. anything because of that. He opens a bottle of bleach and smells it right in front of you, and it's nothing. 
He was like, I was like, you still Jesus. shouldn't do that, Jacob. Like that's a, that's still a bad fucking idea. He's like, I don't give a fuck. But uh, yeah. So, but he can kind of taste stuff, but it's all fucked up for him. So he'll never know if he has COVID through the taste or smell thing, unless he gets the other symptoms. Mm. Did that anybody sucks. get really sick in your house? Like, did was anybody? Uh, not really. A uh, Jude kind of. Uh, I know. Um, she was unable to like taste or smell for a couple days and then had like what seemed like just the worst fucking case of the flu for a couple days. And then it cleared up out of nowhere. I know Nick's sense of taste and smell was gone for up until recently. Like it was like almost three full months. Damn, dude. I feel three like months that would you... suck ass. Oh, that sounds miserable. Yeah. And I, like I cook. So like I'd be making like really bomb ass food like fucking tilapia tacos or something i'd be like hey man you want some you just like be sad like no <laughs> i can't <laughs> taste it i'm like oh all right you you and, <laughs> you and luke probably got the same situation where you're both totally immune you're the two only immune people on earth of covid because you've been around people luke haven't you that also have had it and you didn't get it he has the antibodies yeah, my, he oh, got yeah, checked right. and has the or no wait did you get checked for the antibodies both me and my mom tested positive for the antibodies, and my mom still got it a second time. Okay. So weird. Such mm. a weird thing. This thing, I haven't done the antibody test at all. I probably should. Neither have I. You know what I read today uh, about this on a science? There was a science article that came out saying that uh, COVID-19 can reduce your sperm account or sperm count uh, oh, tremendously. And I was like, really? <laughs> Please let that be true. Please, <laughs> please, please Christ. Yeah. Please, Christ, let all that be true. All I hear is that this, 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 it just gets better and better. Yeah, all <laughs> it can do is help my future out. All right? That's... COVID just gets better and better. Uh, Save my it, it gave me It gave me like two months away from my shit-ass theater job paid. Oh, oh wait. I say paid, wait, but paid? I, I didn't get a si I didn't get any I was of about that to say you got assistant. fucking raped by that job, Even dude. to this day, I still didn't get any money. Yeah. Um, yeah, That's but crazy. I got some time off, I, and I guess it reduces sperm count, so I guess there's some pluses. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had time off I'm, it's a it's it's a terrible thing, but I mean that that reduced sperm count thing is a fucking that's a treasure. That's plus. like when I find out about plus. Mountain Dew, it's, it's like that's exclusively the soda that I'm drinking. What are the pros and cons of COVID? Pros? Uh, so <laughs> it hit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, there are pros for the at least the tattoo and piercing industry. It hit right when tax season would have been last year. And that's like that's when we make our money. Yeah. Um, and we so we missed out on that. But as soon as we open back up, we've consistently like we've stayed steady. Slow season didn't exist this year. I've been like I have steak and cocaine money and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Who doesn't uh, love that... steak and cocaine money, by the way? Exactly. Like, have everything paid off and still be able to do a fat rail and chomp down. A well, do the steak first, then the rail. Yeah, then you can eat well, more steak. It, isn't it interesting though that COVID did, for some reason, allow the tattoo and pierce body modification community just kind of boom for a moment? Because I knew when I when mm -hmm. that shit happened, I had like my first David Armacost tattoo planned, and I've been waiting for like a year to get tattooed by this guy, and there was I was so fucking bummed to find out that we had to cancel it. But as soon as it came back, I was like, hey, I'll pay for my tattoo up in advance. I just want to, I want this now. Like yeah. I just want tattoo crazy during all this time. Dude, oh, by I... the way, uh, listeners, go and get a piercing by Jack or a tattoo by Haley over at the Atlas Tattoo Company. It's still Atlas, right? And I fucked that up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Atlas Tattoo Company. Yeah, where's that at? Is it? It is in Milford on Main Street. Yeah, go down there and check them Milford. out. Milford. <laughs> yeah, in Milford. So, you, what? Tell me, tell tell the people a little bit about your podcast, real quick, because you you briefly glanced over it, and I want to make sure. Oh, yeah. know what it is. Yeah. So, um, during COVID, during the quarantine. Um, Haley, Tyler, Nick Crenshaw, and myself um, started a Delightfully Macabre podcast, which uh, <laughs> initially we were going to do a, just a horror podcast talking about like horror movies and media. And then we just sort of had the idea, well, now let's talk about like weird shit that's happened in history that's more on like the dark side of things. And I didn't know how like well it was gonna go i thought like yeah we'll do this like once every couple months maybe but no it's it's we saw pretty good support right off the bat and it's been real fucking fun do y'all have a, a patreon blast. yet i know i've asked you about this but i'm no not yet i don't wish we, we got to figure out what we want to do for patreon content mm -hmm. still but start your own side shows do like a gaming thing there's four of you yeah. so that's four extra podcasts potentially depending on if everybody's willing to commit to it yeah that is true 
don't know, I've had a, a couple people like within my my circle of people I've you know hung out with after lockdown and everything uh, come over and try out things in the studio. Um, I don't know if anything's gonna like come like from other, any of that other podcasts yeah uh like uh matt hamlin from split the abyss we've we've recorded two episodes of what might turn into a podcast but i don't think he's even released them or edited them edited them or anything yet yeah. why but, is he slacking why, why are you snoozing matt i don't know matt on, why bud? are you snoozing come on dude you let's dick. put him on the blast drummer, right? i'm sure luke will write that into the description right luke you'll for sure no, in the detailed <laughs> thought out <laughs> description yeah, that luke it. puts in the show yeah. we hear about he's matt. yeah he's <laughs> writing it down right now <laughs> yeah that's what he was doing on his phone <laughs> woody's their uh, drummer though matt's the uh bass player oh, duh. I, that was such a stupid question i, I, I do that. have a description for this week's episode up by the way I it saw was tight wow it was luke, in the episode do you <laughs> but job, was it spelled buddy? right Wow. And and it didn't have a, a tune in folks this time. No folks. No folks in it. We broke your balls no, too hard no about it. No folks. No folks. You got too insecure no, for the I'll, folks. I'll, I will I will quickly return to the folks shortly. Yeah. It's kind of like a staple again. in your uh description to be honest. <laughs> yeah, man, tune in folks. This is this is why I'm glad no one else in the podcast reads the shit I type in the description for ours. I don't no one ever gives me shit. We're too critical. <laughs> we got once you do a year in review and so someone will point it out. Oh, Mansfield yeah, is one. reviews where you really get it. It actually is a review. You know? Me and Pat would yeah. silently do it behind Luke's back, but it was like, oh, at least he's <laughs> no, putting like, the podcast up kind of on time, I guess. Year, th- year three, though, I knew what I was walking into from the first two years of him doing it. I knew yeah. it, like, right away. Like, I, like, I'm not shocked. Like, hey, b- by the way, this one's like this, too. Like, I knew that. <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome that he put that much work into doing the podcast. I was like, eight fucking Love pages man's of notes. Field. That's incredible. Yeah, that was super cool. Oh, shit. Love that boy. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, you said you cooked, and you actually sent me a wonderful little video of a. Uh, it's a. Oh, here we go. Like a recipe video or something I did. like that. It's a, this is a yeah, uh, classic. Let me stop eating for a moment. Mom's <laughs> secret recipe. Hmm. Oh God! Shut the fuck about? up! I am. There's no way you're going to make me watch this. We're gonna review a uh, mom's secret recipe on what's the cooking website? Eve. Eve. Uh, Eve food. food. Did I read the description? Did they spell food wrong. E food wrong. Yeah, I don't know. It's a. Uh... Is it like Danish Russian for food? I don't know. Wait, wait. Okay. Can I have? All right. Can we E-fucked. have Luke read the description real quick in a pirate? Uh, accent yeah. Can we get a pirate? P cuff. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Ah, the rectum. Some men never experience. <laughs> Some men never experience contact with it. <laughs> Others speed run it like 3 a.m. trip through the Burger King drive-thru. Oh, this is now an '80s personality wrestler. Uh, <laughs> Keep going with I like that the one. I'm fine with that. Go on. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. <clears throat> but judging by the specimen's cornhole pastoroni, I think it's a safe bet she follows Gordon Ramsay on TikTok. Happy fucking holidays. Wow, pretty aggressive gonna, for a recipe looks video. Terrible, by the way. This looks terrible. For the listeners at home, Patrick, describe before we play just the thumbnail of yeah, uh, what appears you a to be on the screen. Let me show you a little bit into this, a peek into this nightmare. Let me get, so hold on, let me zoom oh in God. for you. Yeah, there you looks go. Looks like there's You're pasta. Welcome. Okay, someone's sitting up on a table, all right, kneeling on it, and their ass is facing us, but they already got two fingers in their asshole, and it's over a, po- a plate of a pasta. So I already know not- it's not pasta, you don't think? That's pasta. No, no, not just not just two fingers in the butthole. They are quad knuckle deep. All right. Yeah. By quad knuckle, that that means they are knuckle one, knuckle two in with two fingers. Bro, they are they are deep. They're she's deep going in for, their region. She's right. going for a strike in the bowling alley, is that's what a, it looks like. It's that's a happen. fact. Yes, she's gripping the ball hard, bro. <laughs> Now, do you guys think that's some sort of like a uh, chef technique there? Like, I, don't I know. was assuming she was keeping the oregano this... in her pussy for safekeeping, you know, if in case I the neighbors break guess... into the house and try to steal all of her fresh oregano. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm that's already a guess. I, had to guess. I, don't even, I don't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> if I uh, had to guess, she's about to work her butthole like a porn star would to work her pussy to squirt, but instead, like, 
turds are just gonna start flying out the butt. As of uh, okay, I like I mean, like turds, dude. It's probably just a straight up like she's early, gonna early fucking fly. start going quick with it, and then just turds are just gonna start flying out everywhere. Or guys, yeah, as maybe a... yeah, she'll flick it around and be like a sprinkler <laughs> on high setting. You know, as a, <laughs> as a man. As a man of the culinary universe myself, like it's what I do for a career. If I can propose what I assume she's doing, it looks like <laughs> she's attempting something called a sous vide. Of uh, she's sous viding the pasta inside you. of her body right now. That's where uh, a water bath. Uh, you put uh, like a steak or a piece of pork or something into a uh, sealed Ziploc bag, and then you put it into a water bath with a uh, device that monitors the temperature. So knowing that the human body is always at ninety eight point six degrees and the human vagina is slightly warmer maybe she's attempting to cook the pasta over a long uh, period of time through her vagina what do you boys say we just go ahead physiologist turn this on i need to get a a beer to chew after this like do i need to fight you (laughs) do i need to get something minty in my mouth after we watch something this is it i mean is that what you have to put in your mouth after you come in your pants i'm eating do you need something minty after you bust in your pants is that like your this might make you more hungry bust after in my pants you tell me i'm gonna bust in my pants over this video immediate busting action right in your pants Uh, he's got the icebreakers i feel like i need to get a piece of gum or something what are the what's the likelihood of busting what what do you think jack the likelihood Uh, at least eight out of ten eight out of ten i like those odds all right i got both pat Bro, you got you the trident it. and the duos. Oh, all right. Okay, Luke, flexing on people, huh? Beef jerky, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always gonna win with get the it out of pocket candy for work. Let's get to <laughs> it. Just play. I'm going to puke. Hold on. Is this one that we need the sound for? Is it important? Uh, I don't think you need the sound. It's the sound more, it's will probably visual. make it. Okay. The sound will be good for our listeners. So okay. if we're going to, if I have to hear and watch this shit, you fuckers have to at least make hear a, it. Make a wise point, Pat. Should be one of those videos that has like intense, like techno music playing over it while like foul. <laughs> Fucking playing Enter Shikari or something crazy, like super fast beat. Let's see what we got. I like how she has towels for both of her feet too. That's very thoughtful. Yeah, she knows it's gonna be a mess. Yeah, you don't put your feet. It's on a the table. napkin That's and table <laughs> mat, you fool. It's yeah. polite. Towels. There's napkins. obviously pasta all over the table. You see that there's pasta already spread throughout the table. Hold on, let's. This is just the thumbnail. Let's see where this video starts. Let's finally get Put the to sound it. on. We gotta at least hear the sound. Sounds on. A network error caused the. Okay. Oh, no. Thank God. Reload. Network error. Reload. Oh, don't worry, guys. It's all good. It's working. Perfect. Now. There's fun Christmas music. Oh, Christmas, Christmas spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> a bunch of Christmas spaghetti. Oh, I love fuck. that they have like a little title yeah. card with the Christmas spaghetti. Nothing capitalized, like Luke's fucking titles on all the podcasts. <laughs> Is that comic sense. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude this One is time, motherfucker. <laughs> One ready to watch time. Fucking Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer with this shit. Go on. All right. Okay. Let's see where we're going with this Christmas spaghetti. Yeah, I'm back. There's some spaghetti. Okay. And so is Bolognese. Wait, where is she from? What's that Let accent? Let me serve you. Hmm. Let me serve what yim. What the fuck is going on? Is that right a dish? Now? Yim. All right, well, so she's climbing up on the table. She's naked except for an apron, uh, and some weird pants that are just ripped, so the the asshole is exposed. And she's climbing she's got on a like tiny white table. Walls. Everything's pink in the background. This supposedly looking innocent kind of style in her house, and then she's, she's just gonna completely fuck your whole world up. Guys, she's hold on. Doing I have to... it in the living room of her apartment in like Switzerland or something. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's she, see what happens. She's got a, a plate with a heart on it too, by the way. Very curious. <laughs> a heart or a chicken? Hmm. What the fuck? Oh shit! Well then. Oh God, she. Now I hope right. you can. <laughs> She's shitting out the pasta, people. Now, oh, oh that's like two servings of noodles just popped pause out it, of her ass. Pause it. Now, no. see, no, that was another serving. <laughs> pause it for fuck, for fuck's it? sake. How pause did she get it? more in there? How, how did now, she get that much pasta inside of her butthole? Uh, how is that possible? I understand. There was some concern about the spaghetti being all over the table before, as you can yeah, see. Well, it's not a perfect system of. No, it is getting it on the plate from that vessel it's currently in. Yeah, it's a messy so, distribution she system for a sure. A whole family size worth of fucking pasta up her ass, and she is farting it out on a fucking <laughs> plate with a little tiny heart on it. It is a weird amount of dude, pasta. I'm gonna be honest. Dude. That's a family. Ser- that's two. Fa- that's a Thanksgiving <laughs> serving of fucking food. 
How do you get You're that in asshole. there? I, they missed a you, crucial you part fucking... of the video, which is the inserting of the pasta. That's what I, I need. Some to... country, if some country out there could get the health regulations to <laughs> allow someone to serve pasta like this. Oh, dude, this place I would make a million dollars a day. Oh, yeah, easily. Well, she's a million dollars a day. Thing. She's probably using exactly. a whole family <laughs> serving because of the starving kids in other countries. You know, I mean, you got to don't waste it. Especially There's food. a lot of weird fucking people out there. People would, uh, I mean, I would not, no but shit. people would pay a lot of money for this. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, some weird fucking fetish that uh, there's this, the only video of it in existence, and she's making fucking bank off of this. It's like the MT porn we used to watch What's back up? in the day. Jack, if you had to guess which of the three bastards would pay for this, uh, uh, which one would it be, and why is it Luke Young? Uh, <laughs> hmm. See, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Patrick might actually pay for this, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't be like upfront about it. He'd try to hide it. Yeah, by being sneaky uh, about it. Disgusted like I am currently. Oh, it's so gross! Yeah, I hate front. it so much. Like, oh, Saving the link. Can you forward that I'm to me so puke. I can show other people how weird it is? I oh, I hate adjusting it. Adjusting so his camera so it's only the waist up, so we can't see. Send what's me going that on. link so yeah. I can block it. <laughs> Send me that link. Tucking his boner to his elastic waistband. <laughs> Send me. The link so I can block. It. <laughs> Trust me, I'll block it. I'm gonna send it to the FBI and let them know this is out there. You can't just be on right, the well, internet like, run free with things like this on it. Is there a fucking minute five left in this? How is there a minute five left? Is there an absurd amount of oh, pasta in this woman's oh, butt? This is a family I, serving. Hold I feel up, like I'm gonna hold faint. up. There's still hold some up, tricks up her hold sleeve. Up, I'll say up that her ass sleeve, Pre her wizard prediction. sleeve. Yeah. Prediction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's meatballs at the end. We'll <laughs> I don't know it's if it's like, going to be I meatballs, that 100%. but well, it might it's a fair look. prediction. I would say that that is a uh, an accurate description. That's probably going to happen. Okay. Good on you, Luke. Good call. Okay. All right. Is there sauce? Cody, you Wait. Bet against that, or can I say is sauce? There sauce. I feel like yeah, the sauce would already be splurting it's, out. It's already it's meatball on sauce. It. All right. The sauce is already sauce. all over the noodles. <laughs> all right, lady. Let's see what we got. Like an Alfredo. Oh, oh God! Watching people shit will never she inhaling not be. The noodles? <laughs> That's going back in. Woman <laughs> China's eating the noodles. Now it's time for some sauce. Ah! <laughs> ah! No! No! You're a son of a bitch, Jack. Oh! Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh! That better not what be the what fuck is this music? Please tell me it's actual <laughs> sauce. Oh god. Fucking Jack's fucking puking. Oh. <laughs> we shouldn't waste food. It should all go up my ass. Right? There's star oh, the starving kids! She shared a picture of the starving kids. Happy birthday, Jesus. 33 BCE to 0 AD. Oh. Well, I'll never forget that. All oh, right. I feel lightheaded after watching that. Now, please, like Luke said, tell me that's uh, pasta sauce and not just blood. Because it looked like it's, blood coming out of her body. You know, like... I didn't look that far into it. Um, I did, however, try <laughs> to submit this to uh, the Rate My Plate subreddit, and it was taken down within two minutes. <laughs> Rate my I wonder plate. why. You within two minutes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did they remove it instantly, or did they? Uh, oh yeah, no. Like, this content has been removed due to it violating every rule in Reddit. It posted. I put my phone in my pocket. I went to take a shit, and I pulled my phone back out of my pocket, and it was gone. Yikes. God damn! Did you get blocked on Reddit? No, I can still post on that subreddit, but it like <laughs> I just have like a notification like your post was removed because it didn't meet the community guidelines. I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... what you don't allow video? Let's rate the plate. Uh... <laughs> oh, did it have to be in GIF format? I'm sorry. Put it on the We Want Plates subreddit. You that know? was. Oh God. <laughs> oh, if you guys want to watch that for yourself, it, it's efucked. Efucked. dot com. Mom's secret <laughs> recipe. Yeah, I I don't recommend it, but I mean, if you guys are curious what we're watching, you want a little fucking side by side with the podcast, you could cue what? the video Cody. up. Cody. Yeah. Realistic answer. Jack, here. You just I want you to be it. honest. Okay. For both of you and Luke, least like, amount of money you would take to take a bite of that. Fourteen dollars. What? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Did you 20, see 000? her, Luke? I feel like that's pretty low. 
Man, if I'm that's not- real, if that's real menstrual blood, I feel like that's a pretty low. That's low not body. menstrual blood coming out of her asshole, Luke. Do you know how vaginas work? How, how do you think no, they? I don't know what she was. You think oh, girls okay. menstruate out, out of their asshole? asshole? I thought that came out of her vagina. I couldn't tell where that was coming from. Oh, it was her absolutely from the asshole. Her, that was her butthole, oh, it without was a doubt. Absolutely the asshole. Have you okay. never seen a naked woman? Oh, that was her butthole. Then yeah, yeah. If that's just yeah, then I'll I'll, I'll for sure, I'll I'll cut that in half. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. I feel like you're not being realistic. If you gave me. One more stimulus check. You give me one more stimulus check, I'll take a big bite with a. I'll bring my. For six hundred dollars. No, yeah, two yeah. grand. The first, awesome. the first stimulus check. That was twelve hundred. The first stimulus check. So you do it for twelve hundred. Wait, it was. I thought it was two grand. Wasn't it two? I don't no, know how much the fucking one money that I got. They're proposing is two grand or something. How two about grand or 1400? both stimulus checks together? Eighteen hundred. I'll do it. I think that's point eight k. Eighteen hundred for asshole pasta. Yeah, sure. What? Yeah, only got to take what, one bite. Money? One bite, what keep it down for how money? long? Couple minutes? I got that. Uh, Swallow easy. It. Oh, you only you have to it. do one bite? Yeah, that's what he said. One bite. How much money? I'm not clearing uh, the plate we and licking it clean plate. like your oh, dog. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One bite. Okay. So what are you gonna do with all the eighteen hundred dollars, Cody? Like, uh, I'll buy the guilty at all. Like, man, well, I, I had to do some shit to use this money for this thing i'm gonna use it for I'd, right i'd really do something for this yes uh i would it. buy well i'm an, i'm trying to answer but every time that i go to you go Wait, well what would you get and i'm like well what i would get well what would it be you think it's worth it so but <laughs> um i would get the the device from men in black where you that shines in your eyes and you can forget memories and stuff like that and then forget that i ever did that what is that? Four hundred bucks? They probably got one of those on eBay for four hundred bucks. And then after that, I'm I've got a cool and clear fourteen hundred dollars to spend on whatever the fuck that I want. Like Jack said, cocaine and steak money. Except I don't do blow anymore, so I don't know steak and more steak money. There you go. Yeah, there we go. All right. There you go. Okay, Patrick. Moving what about on. you? You never answered. How much money for uh, you? I w- it would be like twenty thousand. You're a liar. A you would do it for bite. free. Maybe even more. Probably you would pay more. money for that experience. Hmm. Twenty thousand for that's just how much he would pay to eat. I was saying twenty thousand to clear the plate. Yeah, I, I would do twenty thousand for just a bite. No joke. I, I don't even know what the hell if that was meat sauce or if that was shit. I'm just, I'm just not. Patrick would pay twenty no. thousand dollars. She shot the whole family to... serving in her ass, and you said earlier that that it's already got a sauce. It's already got a sauce. So that made me that that upped the price on the whole. <laughs> Let's be real. It was probably a little bit of both, but yeah, meat it, and poop. But you know, <laughs> whatever the fucking sauce that was going on with that, that, that escalated this uh, up about five grand. So yeah, I could handle grand. it when it was the spaghetti. But something about the imagery of like red fluid coming out of somebody's <laughs> asshole as they squirt it all over a plate of spaghetti. I'm like, oh, I'm getting sick to my stomach. Yeah, that's what got me too. I was like, oh. <laughs> eighteen hundred bucks, and Cody will do it. But take a bite of that. <sighs> oh God, if it's not blood. Uh, if she douched first, <laughs> and I can get the Men in Black device for four hundred on eBay afterwards, then I'm good. A little fucking dude. If it's just a bite, I'll do it for like twenty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's really not that much. That's exactly that right. Makes me want to throw up. Give me a a, a sheet for of clean just blood one work. Bite. You give me a sheet with clean dude, blood work I can on it. Make a bite no poop smell. Real small. No, I'm talking about you no, gotta take a big gotta bite. Be a full spoon. It's gotta be a fucking like an Italian man with hairy knuckles fucking bite. Get, like no, a with a pinky with yeah, a yeah, shiny you gotta, you pinky gotta twirl ring. The fork. Got a little twirler. Yeah, dude. Okay. Skewer at least like four or five of them, you know, meatballs on the end of it. All right, Maybe how much spaghetti? How much money to Lady in the Tramp style uh suck the spaghetti from her butthole until your lips <laughs> meet with her butthole? Ooh, shit. <laughs> now this man. is this is a different, a different that, is that question the whole I'm family asking. serving? Uh, well, yeah, just I mean, one noodle. Naturally, Eat the full serving out her asshole. Just the spaghetti, uh, fifty thousand. And then the oh, last yeah, strand of, of spaghetti has to <laughs> like movies, like Lady in the Tramp style, connect with her butthole. <laughs> and give it a little kiss. That is a lot of carbs, Jack. You're right. I wasn't thinking about uh, my waistline when I was coming yeah. up with this. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Shall we move on? Are we are we good on the butthole spaghetti, lady? Yeah. Jesus cool. Fucking Christ. Uh. Okay, we got another one from this food website. Is this another cooking video, Jack? Uh, which one is this? Uh, the girlfriend experience. Um, no, this one's actually uh, this one's, this one's pretty interesting. Um, 
there's some really cool practical effects in this um Horror i know porn. on the last episode you were talking about uh cgi a lot with the new godzilla movie and how you cody weren't a huge fan of it just being a bunch of cgi yeah um so i'll have you know though, I, these are all practical effects in this one oh, i love that do they have stan <laughs> yeah, winston God, good do they have stan God winston the or uh, industrial lights and magic have anything to do with this because big fans of both of their work yeah know. but i'm gonna go ahead and say probably not um, <laughs> well, but this... uh yeah no it's got some good uh say like like original nightmare on elm street era okay all right i like that effects happening like the weird arm that got super long and the fucking the obviously fake girl being pulled through the fucking the door at the end, like where it's her one second and then smash cut to an obvious doll being pulled through the, the by the hair through the glass of the window. Yeah. More okay. so in like the, the gore and the things like you just just you should just watch it. It's oh, good. well, the I'm scared. Or just going... I'll read I'm scared. it. I'll read it. Luke, Luke, Luke. Uh, uh, if he scrolls down, I'll read it. Sure. May I suggest, I was going to ask, uh, could I have the accent of a Chinese man and don't make it racist and go? Don't, don't be racist. make it racist. Yeah, I need a go. flawless, uh, like, imagine if you were uh, Gary Oldman playing a Chinese man and that was still acceptable. And if go. I was Gary Oldman playing a Chinese Well, because, you know, man. he really, like, if Gary Oldman were to play a Chinese man, he would do it flawlessly to the point of it's not racist anymore because he's not making fun of it. So let's get. All right. All right. All right. Please so don't do this. Racist, oh, man. We're going to get not racist, off the internet. This Chinese man. Here we go. And by experience. All right. That's enough. Jesus. That's <laughs> quite enough of that one. All right. We're pushing it as far as we could go with Ooh. that one. <laughs> that yep. was immediately too far. <laughs> And I didn't expect you to do it. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, can we get that sound bite for Patreon? All right. Who? What accent? Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. And by experience, I mean one man. And by experience, his- I mean one man blowing up his beer money on the kind of sexual endeavor that would shell shock a Vietnam War veteran. Speaking of blowing up, the only thing missing from that slaughterhouse between her legs is someone in the background screaming, World Star and Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement to fight it. It says more. Should I click that more button? Is it really important we read this whole description? No. I'm going to assume that that. Uh, oh, OK. Took, yep. It took me to a link that said horror <laughs> porn. So I was like, yeah. no, no, no. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, because like I know the stick by now. It's not really more. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's almost a always a link to wherever it came from. Horrific video dot com. All right, let's go. Oh, fucking network errors. You're probably going to have to refresh everything. All right, so they go into a bar. Yeah, it's the girl from Total Recall, basically. Pretty Pretty standard so far. Having a casual drink at the bar. They're all pierced. That was kind of awesome to see in real life. What the fuck's about to happen? Giving him, giving her money. It appears to be euros. What kind of money is that? Is that euros? Giving the money a titty job. Her nipples are pierced crooked. Are they? You notice that immediately? Could that be like she was pierced before she got the fake boobs? No, those aren't fake. Those aren't fakers. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. They're in the bed. Ah! Fucking hell. (laughs) The (laughs) biggest vagina I've ever seen. Oh my god. So what she spreads her fuck, legs bro? and it's the predator's mouth. <laughs> Basically. Oh like if you took the predator. Fucking god, dude. If you took the predator what? and fish hooked him on both ends and whipped it open. Oh, it looks like. Dude, you know what it looks what like right fu- there? Is this, is you guys it, remember Sesame Street, the they... Italian chef, the one that just has the big eyebrows? If you imagine, <laughs> here's the eyebrows. <laughs> here's the nose. There's some hair in there. <laughs> God damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, okay. Hold on, yeah, let me really pause, pause so that I can fucking hold stare on. at this. Okay, first of all, oh. first of all, I want to show genuine concern at the possibility that genital mutilation may have happened because this is just, like, there's there's big vagina, like, that's, but then there's, like, this This looks damaged almost, you this know? This looks bad. Like, this... and I don't know if that's rude to say. I really don't. But, like, it's concerning to look at. I'm, like, 90% sure it's prosthetic. Yeah, uh, but there's also that 10% oh, that this is just some okay. mutilated person. Okay. 
Well, okay. Yeah, All right. Because in my <laughs> head, in my head, it looked like some sort of alien abducted her and replaced her vagina and uterus with some sort of 3D headset device and you could lay your whole face in her vagina and like pilot some sort of mech out in space dude that thing is huge <laughs> it looks Christ. like it's like fitted for a for a person's face or head it's Try like my how you get into the upside it. down it's like a portal to the upside down that i'm looking at yeah basically all right let's keep going i want to see what i want to see how this plays out i'm enthralled in the story so he's getting Why all up in there there's very scary music going on. I feel like it's going to eat him if I'm making a prediction. It's not so bad if you put your hand right there. Then it's just a normal video, and then it goes away, and... Ah! What are you... Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's really getting in there, too. She's just mashing it. She's just mashing... <laughs> This what is one she... you're gonna really have to see for yourself to believe. It's uh the girlfriend experience on E fucked. I I don't even know how to do okay, so they're gonna fuck. This now. is horrifying. This guy has a heart on and he's sticking his dick in this fucking the thing situation going on down there. Oh my god. Why'd they do this? Why did they make this? You know, that's sort of where why I sent Cody this one is <laughs> I'm just confused. The worst part the worst part is the, the kind of like horror type of music they're playing in the background. Oh Jesus Christ. That slow like bass. Yeah. I can't watch this. This is horrible. I really don't like this, Jack. So you Oh done no, it's a... very unpleasant. Um <laughs> It's making me so upset. You know, I want you to just like imagine though for a little bit that like, let's say you're a special effects guy. You tried to get your break in Hollywood. Um and this is what you got hired to make. Oh, and now it's the Tomb Raider oh, music Smack my bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so he, that he was a good the... edit of smack my bitch up and they throw it in at the so beginning he, uh, after after that horrible whatever the fuck that just happened the guy just goes into the bathroom and pukes that's the... from a music video called smack my bitch up by Pro the prodigy so they smack yeah. My bitch up. yeah exactly so but they edited it perfectly at the end for how that video should have ended Oh man, that was rough. That was hard to fucking was, watch. Uh, I, I hated everything about it. I hated the music, especially. It, 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 was, yeah, it was pretty the unsettling. Whole vibe. I didn't even have commentary right. for it because I was just like trying to not pass Shell out shot. in my chair right now. Just feeling well, woozy. it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's probably not the best one I could have sent because it's hard to give too much commentary. You do really have to see that one to. Oh, appreciate the fine special effects arts there. Wait, can you post this in the Patreon? Is there some way to make a post? <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> of all the videos that we've watched today for the listeners uh, on Patreon? That... Uh, there's they want to see it? <laughs> there's a limit as to what you can post on Patreon. Okay. And you don't think that this is within Patreon standards? Uh, it just crosses, you know, a moral line a little bit, don't you think? This is why if, you guys need to make if, an OnlyFans. If adult, if adult right. entertainers have limits that... that that keep them from passing certain things on Patreon, I guarantee you this is something that would get us, like... Kicked off. Yeah, I'm kidding. I don't really think that yeah. you should put this on. God, even, like, the super fans of the Bastard Sermon would think this is too much and try to take us down. No, know? they this wouldn't. This is too much. No, they wouldn't. No, they're fucking pussies, and I don't want them to listen to the podcast anymore. I've seen a lot anymore. of shit on this show, Jack. Yeah, get off my page if you can't hit. Handle the, the girlfriend experience. I don't want you on here. <laughs> yeah. I uh I don't know. I think I'm glad that this video elicited a similar response to that time I sent you guys the really fucking weird one of the guy just jerking off while talking to his mom or grandma, grandma. or whatever that was. Oh, that, oh, was a that one that one stays <laughs> with me. Yeah, oh, no, it, me too. <laughs> like this all stays that with I've me. out of I've I said this with the episode with Mansfield. I've said this on a million other episodes. So have the other two. I forget almost everything after every episode as soon as it's done. <laughs> oh. And that is no offense to the incredible, <laughs> amazing, and wonderful guests that we have on this show at all. It's just something wrong with me. But no, you that just smoke too much weed, stupid. What do you mean? Jack, and this pulls you back to reality but, like a giant fish. Finish. Probably right. 
Yeah, it pulls but you out of the ocean Jack, of weed that you've drum- dumped your brain shut into. Shut up, you cunt. But that <laughs> video, Jack, stayed with me. Interruption, interruption. In special fucked up place. Yeah. Dude, like, I've had, I, that's the one video I've, t- like, I tell people about. Like, yeah. hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you uh, really want to come hard? This watch show. this video that Jack Griffin showed us on the podcast. Oh, you'll yeah, bust like, all over yeah, the Yeah, exactly. When... When I tell them, like, you know, we watch some fucked up things from time to time. They're like, oh, yeah, like, what do you watch? I go, oh, uh, well, and then I go to that <laughs> yeah, every it's, time. It's just uncomfortable. She's, like, talking to him about why what he's doing is wrong, and he's just fucking going to town. Yeah, it's yeah. so bad. It's making Big him yikes. harder to, to do that. It is, and he uh, makes her, like, clean up. I don't yeah, know if you guys finished it. Yeah, she That's walks back ends. in yeah. with a paper towel and drops it on his dick right as she's coming. Like, she knew exactly <sighs> when he was going to come and everything. This was not her first time, like, watching this guy masturbate in front of her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm with Luke on, like, I, I think of we see a lot of horrible shit, and I forget a lot of shit that happens on the show. But uh, these videos that you send us, they uh, haunt me in my dreams. Well, there's, I'm, I'm glad. There's still there, another one. There was There's this video... And the other video that always comes to mind that we've seen that really haunted me was uh was the <laughs> the dude who was cutting down that tree. Oh yeah, oh the, yeah. The That's upper half one. was connected oh. to the chain, and it it fucking boots him like <laughs> like yep. fifteen feet. That's a rough just one. like vert like horizontally off of this yeah. ladder, and then smash cut to his skull being open like some sort of. Like toy his face alive. was like a book at that point. Yeah. You know? That like a broken good. soccer ball. You know what I mean? That just flopped over and you see him blink and he's still alive, but oh, that tree completely that rough. chunked off his face. That I under- rough. I completely understand. I have no moral high ground like in this scenario to say this, but I cannot watch videos like that. Absolutely. Like I, awful. I can watch the most <laughs> fucked up porn. Cause like at the end of the day, I know it's just porn, except for that that grandma jerking off one. That was that was like that was not something else, porn. man. I don't know if that was porn um, or if she was a was crime that this man was committing that that he had filmed. That's what yeah, it, yes. It, but like snuff films, things like that, I just can't do it. No thanks, I'm not mm-hmm. interested either. Snuff films, are but I watch them for the podcast. I don't like Jack, it, but every snuff film I've ever seen has been against my will. Yeah, I mean all no. of them. Yeah, growing up in the age of the internet, you're like 13 and like. Do you guys remember Rotten.com? Yeah. Yes, or, yeah. I've seen every that single shit. thing on there. Yeah, the three men, one hammer is what. Mm, uh, yeah, that was that journey for me. God damn. Yeah, same. Was... Did you ever watch the same. BME Pain Olympics? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, yes, yeah. It's oh, awful. that's a terrible. But see, one. like that, I I don't know that one. I can watch. It's like Did I don't you? know. You're a fucking what psychopath, about, Jack Griffin. What this about is this? stupid? Like they they're doing it to themselves. I guess it's not. Yeah, oh, that one's rough, dude. What, what about Luke? Drop Bear? What about Drop Bear? I've never even heard of it. I don't want to see it. Uh, or no, it. It, was it, was shake, he's like it, was, uh, it was Shake the Bear. It was like Shake That Bear or something like that. I what don't is think it? I've never seen that one. Just tell us what it is. Please don't let Cody look this up. I don't want to see it, dude. So, don't make this, me look uh, up fucking this death videos. man and this woman, dude, it's not death. It's worse. It's so much then worse. I definitely don't want to worse. see it. This woman. This man and this woman go into the woods. They got a gun. They find a bear. It's like a black bear. And they chase it up a tree. The dude takes the gun, shoots it. You watch the bear fall down, and then they record themselves fucking on top of the bear. Oh, that's fucked up. No, I'm cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I, that's, that I don't want to see it. Oh, yeah. I saw that shit wow. as a kid. Yeah. That's all that I was 12 years old when I watched that. Laughing hysterically on the floor, crying. I thought that I was gonna have to go to the no, hospital with all my ribs before breaking. I was a broken person. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what caused it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't come back from that. It's over no, at that thanks. point. All right, we got one more. Can we do one more? Are we man, yeah, I had to stand Christ. up because I felt so fucking uh, oh, this, this one's a mystery to me. I've never good. seen it. Luke, I didn't know that you did uh porn. This is interesting. This this doesn't look guy, like me. This looks like looks that like fucking you. nerd boy from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, this doesn't look you. like me. All right, read the description. He has blonde hair. That you wrote for Ugh. the video that you uploaded of yourself. It's called My Mom, you know My Virginity. You, you know what you get when you cast a guy that looks like he still gets the crust cr- cut off his peanut butter and banana sandwiches? Believability, uh-huh. motherfucker. That's what. Remove the Bang Bros logo and scatter a few Star Wars amiibos in the background, and I would have 
defended its authenticity until the end of time. All right. Ooh. Let's see. This shit. Is there going to be... Oh, network Peanut error. butter. Oops, didn't Jack. mean to pull that up. Why'd you pick this video if you've never seen it? Why I don't did... know. I just, it was the first one on there. Who jerks off with the door open? I mean... What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, stepson? Hysterically, I've done uh, it before. I, I was just watching a penthouse movie. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were gone. A penthouse oh, movie? You did, did you? Who the fuck watches penthouse? I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's like Macaulay Culkin. Mom, why, why, <laughs> We're why just watching a that? Bang Bros that's, video. That's so weird. And I just wanted but, to see if, but, uh, if a, there's anything I could help you with. Oscar winning I'm performance. A, I'm a virgin, man. I'm just too shy to talk to girls. I just I have a... I can help you out with it. What is a big splotch on his face? Why? You, you, you mean sex? Because Blushing. You mean sick? His mom's about I to fuck know. him, dude. That's why he's blushing. It's like it's about to get real Ooh. awkward. Yeah. It's, it's about to be awful or something. She has a, a lovely George Lucas goiter. Hey. Okay. Just We're just watching yeah, yeah, porn now. Yeah, this is just porn. This All right. Porn. Well, we don't need to do this. <laughs> It's weird. Let's well, fucked up. Well, scoot ahead. Yeah. I mean, All right, bookmark that, that for later. Or... <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. Okay. Dude, I... Kind of... Regular porn. Regular porn. <laughs> hmm. Regular porn. Interesting. She shits yes. all over him. All right. That was just <laughs> someone uploading. <laughs> so we just, <laughs> me and the boys just watched porn together. That's all we it's did just there. Por- it's just We've porn. done it's just... it before. Well, to be fair, we, we watched porn of Luke. Yeah, 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 it makes it different. Luke. Oh man, if that's ever on the internet, can we play it on the on the show, Luke? <laughs> well, I was preparing for the worst. That was just regular porn. All right, yeah. that was kind of refreshing after it's, what you made us watch with the horror it's... porn thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, okay, uh, it's just it's normal being... sex. Thank God. Made, it's being made. <laughs> you got the camera. It's like, <laughs> you and you know that he's putting up the <laughs> you know he's putting up the brick drag the backdrop also right before like hold on yeah. a second, Liz, dude. <laughs> Gotta get the backdrop set up. up. <laughs> Dress up like a construction worker, just exclusively running that lane because it's the one background I have. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, what do we got God. here? Anyways, yeah. So I saw a news article recently, trying to change it back to some nerdy shit. Um, but Nintendo canceled the Zelda and Star Fox shows following Netflix leaking the projects. Wait, is I didn't it... even know there was a Star Fox show coming out until I heard about this article. But I heard about the Zelda show that Netflix was doing. But yeah, I guess... Why would they cancel it? Because it was leaked. It's a good thing to leak it, because then the fans get hyped. Nintendo's right. just but... a bunch of bitches about everything. I yeah, they really Nintendo's, Nintendo's always been that way when things get leaked. Um, but also, as a huge Zelda fan, um, the Zelda fandom's the worst fandom on the face of this fucking planet. And... No matter like shitty community people, oh, or? completely. They're they're never satisfied. They're always bitching about something. No matter how well this show could have potentially been, people would have bitched about it and hated it, and it wouldn't have gotten a season two anyway. Yeah. So I I personally don't care. I'm glad. Yeah. It fell through, but that's what a lot of people online were saying when I read some of the yeah. comics. Now I did not read this article, yeah. so I where this is all new to us. What we're about to read, but what I'm, I was uh, reading in the comments uh, was that. People were saying, yeah, they probably heard that all the people were talking shit and they thought it would be a terrible idea, so they canceled it. Yeah. We gonna say, Luke? I, I don't know. I think, uh, well, I agree with, with Jack, and I'm also going to partly admit that I would probably be part of that angry fan base, be like, nah, I don't like the voice actor. They probably mm-hmm. shouldn't have never made the voice actor. They shouldn't have made him talk, and if they shouldn't have made him talk, they probably should have never done the show. Uh, but I think the Star Fox show could have been amazing. Yeah, I didn't even actually. know that was a thing. Me either. Who's yeah, still me the, neither. Cool. Are me you guys all in the Star Fox? I think the I've Star never Fox played would've, anything would've with Star killed. Fox. I want to go. I get only tattooed. played the original for Super Nintendo. I played the N64. I didn't play the one for GameCube. It was I don't know dick about the story. All I know is that they're cool, cute, anthropomorphic characters that would have a really good show. 
uh, especially if they ran with the abilities or fighting style that they all show the supporting characters such as Falco in like Super Smash Brothers and went that type of lane. It would have been really cool if you ask me, but to I petition agree. Netflix I... to uncancel it, would you consider potentially getting a Star Fox neck tattoo? I want to get a Star Fox <laughs> tattoo. I was going to say, actually, I would love to. I've been actually wanting to get tattooed by Bobby Bronson because he does Japanese work really well. And I want to get like a Japanese samurai version of like Star Fox or S- Star Wolf or whatever the fuck his name is. Get it right uh, on your cheek going down to your neck. I don't I don't know what his name is, but I love it. So I like the character. Growing up, growing up, I like that character. But, I, you know, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't want to say I know his name confidently enough. I like the, the design. You know, I hear you. It's but, Fox um, McCloud, you poser. Not Fox McCloud. I'm talking about the wolf. The Star villain. Wolf. Star Wolf. Okay. That, I just want to make sure I didn't say that wrong. Um, yeah. But I feel like the show would be really cool. I thought the GameCube game was pretty good, too. Everybody, it's like a universally hated game because you're not really in the ship, but you're yeah. Star Fox and you get on this dinosaur planet and the controls kind of suck, but the game was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. I liked the GameCube one. I never, I don't think I ever beat it. Um, I just remember. Yeah, my cousin had it when we when we were uh, kids, and I borrowed it from him a bunch. But no, I grew up playing like the Super Nintendo one and uh, Star Fox sixty four. Like mm-hmm. I played the shit out of those games. Star Fox sixty four for sure. Yeah, but let's read on this a little bit. Scroll down a little bit. Fans of the Legend of Zelda have often wondered what would happen if the rumored live adaptation of the franchise set to be produced by streaming powerhouse Netflix. Blah blah blah. TV host. Spot. Who gives a shit? Go on. Okay. <laughs> no one cares about like tell me oh Netflix don't buy this author who's known by this shit like we don't care about that we want to know about the show during a podcast uh, YouTube channel and Conover explain that while at College Humor and Internet Comedy quit company, reading it like you're not reading it to our audience quit reading it like you're reading it in your your office and like well it's a uh, uh, YouTube channel uh, Connor, so and so internet, so. here you read it then. I'm not reading it. Luke is the reader. Having a podcast hosted by the Surf's Times YouTube channel, Conover explained that while at College Humor, an internet comedy company based in Los Angeles, he found out that soon after the Zelda series got leaked to the public, Nintendo pulled the plug on the Netflix show and the animation project based on the Star Fox series CH was developing. College Humor was making a fucking Star Fox series? I Thank bet. God they canceled it. Yeah, uh, we we had a we had a secret project where we were gonna make a claymation version. Of, oh yeah, I already hate it. A claymation version of Star Fox with Nintendo. I know this because Shigeru Miyamoto came to our office. Conover said, "Fuck you." No, he didn't. The show sounded terrible. Of course, he pulled the plug. Jesus Christ! <laughs> claymation. Oh wait, they have the. Do they have uh, video of what it was gonna look like? Was it like this? Like garbage. Oh my God! If it looks like that, I don't want it. Gross. Fox Dude, Adam Conover is such a the Lilac system. Star Fox, Andros is invading Corneria. We need your help. But there's one villain he's never been able to Oh, defeat. God, yeah. I don't think you... That's Oops. that, like, cringy, dated college humor yeah, fucking... No thanks. Yeah, Ugh. This is what they were going to do with it? Man, no fucking thank you. I can't imagine what was going to be the Zelda Check show. Check this out. Check this out. The leak... <laughs> Whatever the leak was, was probably what was whatever was sent over to Nintendo, and they saw it, and they're like, nah, this is horseshit. Yeah. Canceled. They're like, wait a minute, Canceled. were you funding this? <laughs> yeah, whatever was leaked was whatever was emailed over to them, and it was garbage. Yeah, no fucking thank though. you. At least I mean, uh, integrity about their project and just was like, nah, fuck this. This is horrific. We're not going to allow Do you our remember this, this guy's episode on Joe Rogan experience? He was the dude who was all for uh, giving children. Uh, Wait, is he the one? Uh, that I Adam barely listen. Adam's to always right or something. I barely listen. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam. Yeah, Adam like, ruins he, everything. Yeah, he yeah, acts Adam like he knows everything. fucking everything. And then when he was on Joe Rogan's show, he got totally. He just sounded like a fucking idiot the whole time. He was proven wrong consistently throughout the whole episode, which I yeah. thought was funny. I barely listen to Joe Rogan. I listened in the heyday when it was fun, when he was like doing a comedy podcast. Now he's like, military guy, doctor, doctor, military guy, yeah, conspiracy I'm... guy. I'm like, fuck, dude, I don't want to listen to this show anymore. It's suck dick. It. Every once I've in honestly... a while, he has a what? good guest. I'll listen to it. He but... had a... Uh... He had the the guy on who had that movie based off of him, uh, Fire in the Sky. It, have you guys seen that movie? 
Nope. No. I think we, uh, I talked. I I think I talked about the abduction scene on this uh, show once before. Uh, yeah, he came on Joe Rogan and he talked about the, his whole abduction experience. We can watch it on YouTube right now. Did yeah, Joe Rogan? Easily one of the so scariest. No, 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 no. I mean the abduction scene. No, no, no. I was gonna the abduction scene from Fire in the. Where the there's a delay scene from there's... Fire in the Sorry. Sky is hands down the scariest, the scariest scene. Like I've ever like out of even next to horror movies, like realistically, it scares the fuck out of me. Yeah, I'll look it it's up unreal. right now. It's uh, what's Dude, what's the, the guy's name? Ab- mm-hmm. Oh, I don't remember him. What name. the fire in the sky abduction video? Look that up. Yeah, yeah. but Did I think you- alien kind of abduction horror movies are pretty fucking scary. Not that I think it's like all ever gonna happen. It just is freaky as fuck. Yeah, super freaky. Now, this guy was the actual guy was on. The, oh, we've oh, yeah. seen this before. We've watched this. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen I, that. I, yeah, I said that. All right. We yeah, can watch it again. This. Yeah, he had the, the guy, this guy, basically, the real life version of this man on his show to talk about this experience. That would be interesting to hear. No, it wouldn't, because Joe Rogan would be like, oh, interesting. Have you ever tried elk meat before? Yeah, the reason I'm on the keto <laughs> diet. Like, God, right. fucking damn it every time. Like, yeah, you know, I had, to kill a, I had to kill a fox in my backyard? Yeah, dude, it was, they were taking my chickens. So I put up a, a tree. Like, if we get back to the alien abduction story, you fucking piece of shit. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about your elk meat and goddamn Randy Kotor. Just tell me the alien abduction scene, you fucking asshole. I've tried right. listening to one episode. I don't even remember who the guest was, but that's all it was it was like the guest would talk about some like deep personal story to them and he just respond with yeah have you ever like have you smoked these new strains of weed and like (laughs) man who gives a shit (laughs) like he just like opened his heart to you joe yeah it's because he (laughs) does fucking 25 hours of podcasting a week that's too much talking he's but they're giving him too much goddamn money so he's just like i keep fucking doing it he has nothing left to say except for lifting weights and fucking hunting so that's all that you get anymore. And all of his interests suck. He used to be cool. Like, Joe Rogan, he's still f- hilarious. Like, every time he drops a special, it's funny as fuck. But uh, his podcasts suck now. I don't fuck with them. But, uh, yeah. Let's watch this fucking alien abduction scene again. Oh, my God. That alone. Suffocation thing. Jesus. Yeah, man. <laughs> They had this guy strapped to a table with some sort of, like, skin-like plastic material. They're helping him. He's helping him breathe. Oh, okay. It looks like Bordelais, the stuff that we use at work. A meat sauce. Okay, so they're putting, like brown jelly in his mouth after they've got this latex skin tight thing that they've cut air holes into they're intubating him with a tube they're sticking needles into the sides of him and they're using like a speculum for his eye and they're filling it with jizz just (laughs) bukkaking his his eyeball full of jizz and he kept his eye open during it and the aliens they that see look he's busting look We're going to give you a giant vagina. Yes, we're going to make your eye a vagina and fuck it. And then fill it with more jizz. What the fuck? Alright, where are they plugging in? It's pretty cool, for real. Whoever made this thing did a good goddamn job. All right, it's going right for his eye. Big robot penis this time. Little man. Well, I would give you anxiety. That's intense. Oh, yeah. I feel like this whole episode has just been us trying to give each other anxiety with, like, our most (laughs) anxiety-inducing clips. Like... How can we all have a panic attack for three straight fucking hours? 
How do we completely scar your uh, mental fortitude throughout the rest of the COVID experience? Let's just watch some horror. Let's watch someone put a whole family serving size of pasta up their ass. Let, let's start with that. Does it? Does your podcast ever give you anxiety, Jack? Because your subject matter is pretty fucked up. So does it ever like get bleed into the realms of like, oh god, just talking about like dudes killing kids and crazy shit like that? There was one episode we did on. Um... Uh, f- uh, Sylvia Likens, uh, who's she was um, held in a basement and beaten by this woman that was like had custody of her, and she had like the neighborhood kids would always like fucking torture her and shit. And that one really got to me just because it was a story of like child abuse where like any number of people could have stepped in and intervened at any time. Like before we even recorded, I told everybody like, Hey, we're going to not make as many jokes this episode. This is going to be like a cautionary tale, but then there's always Tyler, you know, (laughs) who he just has to say something fucked up. And uh, yeah, that one, like I'd say most of us were like really uncomfortable while still trying to like give a somewhat educational experience with that episode. And Tyler keeps sending fucking pictures to the discord chat of like, I, I did, probably shouldn't say this, but so there's photos of her body and some of the marks on it. And you know, that stupid like diamond S thing everybody drew in middle school for no reason. Yeah. He like played connect the dots with the wounds on her body and made that and just sent it to the discord chat <laughs> while I'm talking about it to like try to trip me up. <laughs> I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's uh, pretty good though. I mean, but we, we got him cause he's, <laughs> I'm claustrophobic. He's super claustrophobic. And we did a whole episode on immurement, which is a form of torture and execution where you put somebody pretty much in a box with only a small hole to breathe or be fed through. Sometimes a lot of times they just suffocate and die. But, um, and that whole episode, we just really emphasized like the claustrophobic sides of it. And he was getting like queasy and shit. How did they, so, so wait, how did they die in those boxes? I'm curious about this. Like, did, did it get filled with, like, shit, and they get infected, and, like... Sometimes. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> There's, they basically put you in a position where it's hard to kill yourself. Um, they'll feed you every now and then to make sure it lasts as long as possible. Uh, people would die of sepsis, or, uh, like I said, it's sometimes they, there wasn't a hole to breathe through or be fed through. They, they would just die. Um there's also a weird point in European history where they would put kids in like the walls of buildings and they would die by a uh, in the walls because they believed a child's soul would protect like the house from evil ghosts. So they would that seal a, a kid up in the wall. What? Yep. They just had children in surplus. They were just like one child per household. To bury I mean, inside of a house, like their walls. For- go down to the orphanage, like- get a malnourished n- one. Throw yeah, them in there. it's definitely more like Jeez. I have the money and I can afford to put ghost insurance vis a vis this child <laughs> in my house. So wow. they would oh, do that. Shit. That is the most satanic baller shit I've ever heard. <laughs> that's, that's some, that's some like Victorian that era that Jeffrey like Epstein that. shit. Oh, yeah. No, we, I've, I've learned a lot of weird shit. And terrible. <laughs> That's incredible is what Luke's saying. Oh, Luke's and terrible. <laughs> Luke can't wait to make enough money to fucking let a kid die of, what did you say, embirement inside? Uh, embirement. Embirement in the middle of the walls. I Yeah, like, I yeah, embirated no. a couple kids in this house. You know, so that their ghosts would <laughs> that old, fight that off the other money, spooky boys you know in the mean? house. Yeah, it's like that old uh, terrible metalcore band, Emir. They're they're named after embirement. Oh, okay. I don't know no, that band. I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, so much has stemmed from that band. <laughs> like what? Hey, that new so album much. wasn't so bad. I mean, not the new one. Yes, it was. No, not not the newest one. It's the here we go one right before that. It was where they had the uh, guy from the Tony Danza tap dancing extravaganza in the band. That album was pretty <laughs> cool. You know, I don't everything about this band. Like, because I like so... that album. That album's really good. The rest of their album is complete the dog Tony shit. Danza. The rest of their music is dog shit. <laughs> but that album was really good. I jam. I fucked with that shit. <laughs> It was fun. The Tony Dance on Tap Dancing Extravaganza. Yeah. It was That's a, a pretty cool band that. name, I'll be honest. Does that band have Tony Danza <laughs> in it? Like on in some auxiliary role doing something? Like smacking a cymbal or something? I never listened to them. I just knew that was like a band. And they were like a highly technical, crazy, I like nine string guitar kind of band. And yeah. But this guy, he was in um, 
Glass Cloud, if you guys know who they are, they're fucking awesome. And then he moved to a mirror and then they sent, had a really good album. It was really good. What's your guys' most blackout drunk moments? You want you want mine real quick? Sure. Well, uh, here, okay. Yesterday so. for you. Like. <laughs> 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 no? Yeah. Uh, Maybe. I don't, I don't know what day it was exactly. It's been a blur, but uh, there was one time recently when I completely blacked out and didn't know what the fuck was going on. And uh, usually I'll like brown out where there's some level of like it comes back to me slowly throughout the day. But this was just a fucking somebody took a straight eraser to my mind. I have no idea what happened, but I woke up at my friend Evans and I was on the couch and I was like, oh, and I'm dressed and my hat's on and I'm like, what the fuck? And you could see where he put a blanket down next to me and a, a pillow. And then I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then he's like, hey, buddy, I got to go uh, move some shit for some people. Uh, you go ahead and stay here. Just hit the lock button. Just got one of those electronic locks and shit like that with the house of lock itself after you click it. And then uh, he was like, you stay here till whenever you want. And uh, I was like, all right. And he was like, do you remember the headbutting? And I was like, headbutting? And he was like, I'll text you about it. I got to go. And I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And apparently we had, uh, had gotten, we had closed a long fucking long, long night. And, uh. Had basically done it with nobody in the kitchen. Got pretty hammered together. Or no, no, no. This was a different... Oh, man. I have too many of these fucking stories. But, uh, yeah. So, I ended up uh, staying over at his house. Already drunk from the... At work. And then fucking... He had been not drinking all day. And decided to catch up with me. And I decided that while he was catching up. Drinking like 10 shots in an hour. I was going to follow along with him. So, I'm gin, gin, gin. The same story you're telling about the, the tequila. Yikes. And then fucking gone just fucking uh, so apparently we were doing dumb dumb bro shit where we're picking each other up and then he's like well i'm gonna get a fucking headbutt so we just uh apparently started slamming heads like fucking uh goats in the middle of his kitchen and i was like why do we do this and he's like because we're fucking alcoholic retards and we need to get our shit together and i was like yeah yep yeah, that's for sure true he i was Maybe like let me headbutt you again it's like i don't remember this and he's like it's probably the headbutts and i, I was like i don't have a big mark like it was kind of sore on top a little bit but i didn't really notice it and he was like Oh, really? Because the last one, I thought I was going to pass out, and that's when we stopped. I was like, all right, well. He was like, yeah, but we tried to watch Half a History of Violence, and you were babble-talking like a fucking psychopath. And I was like, all right, well, you we probably love, quit drinking. I love, like, it's so baffling. Yeah. Like, this man had, yeah, he knew when to call it quits. But he didn't know to, like, not start the fucking game of headbutting in the first place. Like, he was like, oh, that last one, that last one really That's did That's when I learned in. my lesson. Like, it sounds like his fucking, you, both your dumb asses were like, all right, let's do it again. One more. That yeah. Was awesome. No, for real. That must have been what happened. Idiots. Evan's a big caveman of a man, oh too. God. He's a huge beast of a man, so I'm surprised he didn't fuck. He's the hairiest man I've ever met. I'm surprised that he didn't completely knock me unconscious with his head butts. But that was the alcohol. There was no blood in my system left. It was just all alcohol fucking running through me, keeping me running. Like, you know, you could dump alcohol into an old car, and it'll fucking... It'll smoke out the back, but you could probably get it running for... Get it up the street. That's me. I'm that old jalopy. You just dump a little alcohol into it, and I'll get... Did you even have a hangover the next day, or did you even have a pounding headache at all? What do you think, Pat? Do you think <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. It sounds like you said you didn't remember out, anything. Unconscious? No, I you, didn't. You said you didn't remember anything, so I feel like you, you, you would have started the story with, like, man, my head hurt the next day so bad, and I didn't know why. No, my I didn't even like... notice. I was, I was so hungover, I didn't notice the head, and then I touched my head, and I was like... It is a bit tender in the upper region. There was like a little tiny mark by my fucking King Going Vegeta down. forehead, but yeah. there's nothing now. <laughs> so I guess it must not have been that hard. Plus, your forehead can take a lot of damage before you get to I the mean, brain. I mean, headbutting, that's pretty hardcore, man. I mean, I've done like slapping things. Like, who could slap someone the hardest? I... Or like headbutting people's chests. I don't know if you remember the times we used to go to fucking Fogarty's and we would headbutt each other's chests. As Wait, as me we... and you did that? Me and you and a bunch of people used to do that way, oh, way back that. in the day, like four years ago. as headbutting each other's stupid. heads. It was yeah. stupid, but not <laughs> each other's head. I'm not you know, bragging. This isn't me bragging, head. by the way. This is me saying, like, holy fucking shit, my life is going out of control. But, yeah. yeah. You quit but, like, drinking. Headbutt, headbutting is crazy. That's crazy. Headbutting each other's heads? It's wild. 
Head I mean, hunting is, is useless and used for nothing except for a last ditch effort to get away from whoever is holding you like a fucking bear. You know what I'm saying? Or, Why were yeah. you doing or, that for funsies? Or a fun night out with the bros. You never know. I don't it's know. It's what you do for fun when you get blackout drunk, Luke. I mean, when you get really, really blackout, you just headbutt each it's other like, in the head. Why do you do anything dumb when you're fucking completely obliterated? Like, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. There's, you lose control at some point. Because it's fun, but that's just stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've told the story on your guys' show before. Tell it again. Uh, all right, fuck it. Uh, it was Matt Surrey Con in Columbus, so a fucking anime convention of all places to get arrested. Uh, 2013, I what the last like thing I remember drinking wise was taking a bottle of fucking Kraken and just turning it upside down over my mouth. And the next thing I remember is waking up in a, a room that looked and felt like a dungeon. Turns out it was a jail cell. Oh, um, no. Shit, man. Yeah. And it was just like I was so confused, and the cops were dicks, man. <laughs> like uh, I was, I was just genuinely confused. Like uh, I was in my underwear, and there were jail clothes I was, I guess, using as a pillow. And I put them on and waited a couple hours. They finally opened the door, and they were like, "Get out!" And I was like, "Uh, what's going on?" They're like, "Get the fuck out!" Like, All right. Um, and then I realized, oh, I'm in jail. Okay, that's cool. Like, what the fuck do I do? And uh, they gave me uh, or they took me to a pay phone, told me I get one phone call, which was bullshit because I made like three. Um, I called the person I went up to Columbus with, which was actually Nick Rea, and he did not <laughs> tell me what happened. Uh, but he was there he, throughout the whole thing. Yeah, he was very upset with me and I got that vibe on the phone. No, I, can believe <laughs> that. I was like, what happened? Oh, uh, like, why am I in jail? And he was basically like, you're a fucking prick. I was like, oh, no, I did something bad. <laughs> and yeah. I know Nick, and I know he'd be so pissed off. at. Something oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. He was not happy. And like I, <laughs> when I got the full story from all of them, I guess I had gotten belligerent, taken the hotel room key from him at some point through a party in the room. Uh, they kicked everybody out of the, the room because I was just belligerent at this point um i laid down they got me to lay down on the bed and say i was gonna go to sleep but like i guess as soon as my head hit the pillow i sprung back up and screamed woo and like juked around nick and anthony and slammed my head (laughs) slammed my head into a wall which made them laugh but gave me ample time to like bust out of the hotel room and book it down the hallway at like superhuman drunk speeds (laughs) superhuman Um, drunk speeds yeah and then they cornered me at the elevator, but I guess I made a scene there, which got the cops involved. What did you do? Then, do you know? No, I, I, I guess I was just being loud. So the cops came up and were like, that, that, what Anthony and Nick said was they were on the elevator with me. Like, dude, come on, let's get back to the room. A cop stepped on, looked at them, was like, you guys are done. Like, get the fuck off the elevator. They were like, well, shit. And then the next person who saw me said that they saw me leaving the elevator in cuffs with my eyes like super red like i had already been maced at this point oh, and i was Jesus. like headbutting the cop and uh they f- it was somebody who i only kind of knew from conventions but it was one of those things where they recognized me and they were like what the fuck's going on so they followed and i guess outside i gave the cops a run for their money there were about three of them and i was like running circles around them and like kicking them and headbutting them and shit <laughs> <laughs> and i remember none of this uh but yeah they were just rude as fuck to me the next day and i'm like what did i possibly do and then like it was it wasn't until like three weeks later that i got the full story from like just the people i was hanging out with that weekend i was like oh that's why they were assholes what'd you get charged with (laughs) uh they tried to get me with um uh what was it assault on a police officer assault on a police officer but a misdemeanor not not a felony charge of that what about drunk and disorderly they try to hit you with that drunken disorderly criminal trespassing and because i'm a first time offender and let's be fair because i'm white i got all of that shit wiped off and just got resisting arrest nice. uh, and i recognize i am the luckiest motherfucker on the face of this planet for sure because i could have for one night of getting too drunk and being an asshole i could have ruined my fucking life is resisting yeah. just a misdemeanor 
uh, yeah, resisting arrest is just a misdemeanor. And the judge, uh, once the, the public defender got them to bump it down to just uh, resisting arrest, the judge basically said, well, you can't resist arrest if there's no other charges. So you're good. I was like, holy shit. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got, uh, there was one time when I went to court, I didn't tell anybody, because I had just turned 18, and I wasn't trying to, like, get my mom all fucking mad and shit like that, and right. we broke into the old America, Americana, the amusement park or whatever, it was, like, me and Caitlin Baker and fucking, uh, Joe Reardon and, uh, uh, the other Caitlin girl, I forget her last name, but she was with Brandon Vincent, and, uh, she had just turned 18. It was like her 18th birthday that day. And then some of them were 17. And Kayla Jake Brown Webb. was up there. The I, the I think Caleb might have been up there too. Caleb Webb. But I don't fucking know. But two of them were 17. The rest of us were 18. And uh, we like went by the, the fucking railroad tracks. And someone knew where there was a hole in the fence. And we get in there. And Joe's got a big old like fat old backpack full of spray paint. Because we were going to paint on the fucking abandoned shit. We were dumb as shit, went in the middle of the day where obviously somebody's going to make sure to monitor it and, like, make sure that, like, whoever took us up there acted like, nah, you could just go in there anytime. Nobody's going to do shit. There ain't even anybody that patrols it. And we're, like, breaking into shit. And, like, everything's, like, already shut down for years. There's nothing to, like, steal or anything. But we were for sure going to do some vandalization of this, of these dilapidated buildings, just trying to paint on stuff. And next thing I know, I look up and I'm like, there's a fucking car in here. And I was like, that's a cop car. I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. And then I took Joe's backpack and just chucked it into this creek. And I was like, let's run the opposite direction of that creek and go over here where the creek comes over. And Joe is looking at me like, dude, you just threw my backpack. And I was like, yeah, and it had weed and spray paint cans in it. If we get caught with that, we're really fucked. And he was like, oh, yeah. So we uh, fucking book it over to the edge of this creek, and we all get down, like, real low on the in the fucking, like, the debris and the woods and shit like that. And uh, the car comes up and does, like, a lap, and you can see him pass, and uh, comes back around and gets out, and he's like, all right, kids, well, uh... We're going to have to send the dog out now. And I was like, they're full of shit. Don't get out. And he was like, y'all don't want to come out. The dog's coming. And I was yeah, like, they're, they're full, full of shit. shit. I was like, you're bluffing. There ain't no fucking dog. This dude ain't getting no fucking dog. And here comes another cop car, and it says canine unit. And I see the dog. And I was like, get the fuck out. They got the dog. Like, I'm not I'm not playing with a police dog. dog. I was like, it ain't that bad. I was like, what What could we possibly get charged with? There's no way. Like, fuck, fucking bit today. I'm not getting my fucking shit ripped off by a dog and more charges. Let's just fucking... All right, here awful. we are. Please don't bring the dog out. And they're like, all right, stay right there. And they came over there and took all of our IDs and fucking found out two of us were 17. They're like, all right, we're just going to let you two go. But the rest of you are considered adults, so you're going to have to fucking uh, deal with this. And they hit us with a fucking, I forget what the charge was. It was like trespassing or something like Criminal that. And I thought, Yeah, I thought trespassing, like no big fucking deal. Like, what's the problem? And, uh... So I didn't tell my mom that I went to court or anything like that. And it's all the way up in like Monroe. It's a fat ass drive from Coleraine. Like we're driving for like an hour to get up there. And it's this fucking podunk little fucking shitty ass like jailhouse up there. Or not jailhouse, the courthouse. We get up there and we wait and it's going case by case. So they, they basically do the lesser crimes first and the all the harder shit and the felonies at the end. There's some dudes in there in orange that are waiting on fucking trial and they've got the handcuffs on and shit like that. And I swear to God, they got through everybody, including the guys <clears throat> in the orange jumpsuits with the fucking chains on before they got to us. And we're looking at each other like, we're the most... We're the fucking, like, the, the 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 most extreme crime in here right now. So I was like, what the fuck could this be? It was like, all right, uh, criminal trespassing. They're doing it all by our last names. So Jake Brown's up first. And this kid, I think, saved our dicks because he went... And uh, he was this real nerdy kid that we went to high school with. He was a good guy, but just, like, over the top, like, very cordial with everybody, very fucking, like, wore a suit in type shit. And, like, he was like, uh, yeah, and they they say, like, all this shit about, uh, all right, so you guys are up for trespassing, and that holds a maximum sentence of six months in, uh, six months in jail and a $3,000 fine. And uh, how do you plead? And he, we were all like, uh six months in jail and a three thousand dollar fine what do you mean i didn't even tell my mom that i'm up here like i i might just get carted off in cuffs after this like what the fuck do you mean uh so i'm immediately having a fucking panic attack i was like what do we do we did nothing we didn't even spray paint anything jesus i gave myself up what i was like oh my god this is fucking horrific and uh 
This kid's like, oh, before I plead, can I make a statement to the to the court? They're like, go ahead. And it was like, I uh, I have a signed letter that I got from the owner of the uh of the land. I actually stopped by his trailer and mowed his whole yard for him, and then uh made him a little breakfast and uh, discussed what had happened. And he gave me a signed letter saying that uh everything is okay, basically. And uh, they're like, okay, can we see that? And then the fucking bailiff takes it and brings it over to the judge, and he reads it and shit like that. And the judge has, like, I don't know if it's an assistant next to him or something like that, but there's another dude sitting next to the fucking judge. And Usually, they, like, paralegals, things like that. Yeah, they're looking it over, and they talk, and they're like, okay, so how do you plead? And then he was like, uh, what, what are my options? And he was like, we well, can plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest. Like, the if you plead guilty, then... Uh, We'll we'll figure out the crime right now. You will there will be a minimum sentence passed and blah blah blah. If you plead not guilty, there's gonna have to be either way. There's gonna have to be a trial with a jury. So we'll schedule another court date, and then you guys can come back and uh. And then he was like, "How does no what contest work?" Thing. And he was like, "If you plead no contest, then you're basically saying whatever decision I make right now for you is the decision that you're getting." And he was like, "Uh," and he's like sweating. There's no lawyer, and he's like, "No contest." And then he was like, "All right, uh." Well, considering the the what's gone on, you guys didn't do damage to the park. Everything was fine. Like uh, it, taking into account your uh, flawless, sparkling clean record, uh, no criminal history, we're gonna let you go with just a warning. Just pay your court fees, and we'll call it a day. And I'm thinking, like, oh, fucking thank God. And he was like, now I understand that there's some more of you in here that are all facing the same charges. I can't promise you that based on your records that you will get the same treatment that that we get. So there you go, all the way down. And the oh yeah, I've left out a good part of it. The one one of the girls there that was Caitlin, not Caitlin Baker, but the other one that was, I think it was Brandon's girlfriend at the time. Wait. Waddle? What? Was what? it Caitlin Waddle? Maybe. I don't know. It's not. I don't know. But, uh, so she, it was her 18th birthday when this happened. She had, when we got busted, that's like what we were doing on her 18th birthday. And that's the only reason she had to be in court. So that was that like the sucks. Sh- sucks so much ass. <laughs> so, what a terrible 18th birthday. I bet you'll never forget it though. But, uh, the judge kind of felt bad for her. Like, he just sees it as like, couple of kids fucking going and trying to like we didn't do anything if they would have found the weed and the spray paint it probably would have been a different story so he lets her off and then fucking yeah. uh it yeah. goes down the list to me uh, there's a couple of so like uh it gets to me and then they're like all right and the, the, the dude sitting next to the judge the judge is like so is there anything different about this one anything on his record and then uh the guy that's sitting next to the judge is like, actually you see right here, and I'm like, I'm at this point flop sweating bullets. I'm like, what, what the fuck are they finding? Like, I don't have any charges. I don't have anything. What are they? I'm just sitting there, like, just like nervously shaking, like my hands are clammy. And he's like, oh man. He was like, what about a, what about you and a, in a, in a goat? And I was like, I- excuse me. And then they just looked at each other and laughed. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you guys are cracking <laughs> hilarious jokes that. Like I'm looking at six months in jail here, man. Stop. You're not making me feel good right now, you fucking dick. But, uh, yeah, he decided that he was a funny guy. And then he was like, yeah, you're good. Whatever. Pay the court fees. But the last two there were Joe and fucking Brandon. And Joe and Brandon had been skipping out of school, getting truancy charges left and right, just going home to rip the bong and, like, didn't give a fuck. Like, your dad's yelling at him. He's I like, remember yeah. this time period. Yeah. So we all walk out because after your case is done, you walk out, you go outside, you wait in the line of people fucking waiting to pay their court costs and shit like that. And I just hear the judge reaming their asses about truancy and fucking everything else and i was like joe and brandon are going to fucking jail today and then they come out of there just like man that judge was a fucking asshole and i was like what'd you guys get are you gonna are you going to jail like, what was your fine he's like oh no he just said pay the court fees but he was just a dick i was like y'all have crazy amounts of truancy charges on your record right now that dude did you a favor <laughs> you yeah, better go like in there Jesus and suck Christ. his penis like you're mad at him like and then Brandon's shitty ass attitude. But yeah, there's that mine. That sounds exactly like Brandon. Like, Thousand this percent. This guy did him a massive favor, and he's like, "What a fucking asshole! Like, what a piece like, of shit." God. <laughs> See, for, <laughs> for me, the judge asked me two questions. He was like, "Have you ever drank that much before?" And I fucking lied. And I was like, "No, Your Honor, absolutely not." Sir. <laughs> and he was like, "In fact, I've never even touched this? alcohol. That's why I think I had yeah. an allergic reaction." <laughs> It was just like, are you going to drink that much ever again? And I lied again and said, no, your honor. <laughs> just like, all right. Yeah, you're good. Y'all just wink at each other like, ah. He was He's like, telling ah. the truth. Let him out. That's funny. <laughs> oh.
And then the next Damn. case is a is a twenty year old black kid selling Lucy's, and they're like, "We're giving you the maximum sentence of eighteen yeah, right. years in a federal penitentiary. You better think about that before you try to hurt the American economy by taking it away from small businesses." Well, that's the other fucking thing is it was when for me it was Franklin County. They're like notoriously a already like the cops up in Columbus are already notoriously dicks, but like horribly racist like jesus christ oh i bet yeah it's if, all... yeah if i had been a minority i probably would have been killed like yeah and corn... that's awful <laughs> corn fuck ohio is not the way is not the wait that's kentucky it's franklin county kentucky right or am i stupid no franklin county's ohio it's columbus okay 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 yeah, yeah i mean everything that's not just like a major city in cincinnati is a sundown town for sure oh yeah i just heard that phrase recently sundown town because i work in marymont and apparently when all the, uh, I guess when all the, the Black Lives Matter protests started going on, somebody painted Sundown Town on the thing, and they were all talking about it at work, and I was like, what is a Sundown Town? He was like, where they just arrest every black person for breathing immediately in that town? And I was like, was it really? And he was like, they were all like, they all grew up in Marymont, and they were like, fuck yeah, it was. Like, you didn't come around Marymont if you were black. Like, they went out of their way to be actively fucking, like, no black people in this neighborhood ever for any reason. Like, unless they've God, got a fucking... Fucked. Some type of repairman hat on. They're coming to fix somebody's it dishwasher. It's all the way back to the Lynch days. Yeah, I don't know. That's really fucked. And old Marymont, though. I mean, that's think about it. That's right next to fucking Indian Hill, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's close. Yeah, because I was gonna say where I work in Milford and Marymont, we're pretty much on opposite ends of Indian Hill there. Yeah. Um, which is, I mean, for business, that's cool because they all the rich people come down and spend their money on my jewelry, and you know, that's what they, they do on. My, taco bell habit but uh yeah, dude. <laughs> other than that they're not really worth fuck all god i hate that neighborhood the property tax <laughs> in marymont's crazy one of my friends that i work with told me that his parents they still live in marymont their property tax a year a year one year is twenty eight thousand dollars and i didn't make that number up it's twenty eight fucking thousand so i'm like your parents could literally like just every year a brand new car and that would probably be cheaper than just their property tax and he's like oh yeah and i'm like why the fuck would you live there aren't all of your fucking like he, he was like well it was a great school district and i'm like you're all grown why the fuck are they still living there go move somewhere more reasonable yeah jesus christ it's insane yeah all right well uh do we have anything else before we take a break and go to the patreon i gotta go no. get something to eat. yeah i got to I got oh, some good. news that I'm definitely going to talk about uh, to, to shout out a sponsor, at least. Uh, I got a fucking haircut by Cody oh, yeah. Best. Talk do, about it real quick. Do uh, that Cody Best read. Do that and fucking tell your story. Here, about let it. me read the read for it real quick. Um, but yeah. after we get to the Patreon, do you guys want to go over like the group questions? I want to make sure we go over those. We'll do the group questions on the Patreon. Well, okay, well, before we get the to the one. reads, then I want to at least thank Nick Glavin. I want to shout him out uh for tattooing me thank you so much guys go hit him up at hybrid image and uh uh for the people who had seen the post and 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 uh watch uh Co cody coco also known as uh milky coco puff on on twitch uh, he helped me out he made me realize i need a capture card to solve my issue <laughs> And everything you will didn't be, have uh, that good and ready, and I'll be streaming again. No, I don't have a capture card. I quite literally just gave one of those away for free to my buddy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Damn. <laughs> Are they expensive? It's all good. It's all it was good. About hundred bucks, probably. Huh, Luke, you could bad. swing a hundred bucks. Maybe. Wait. Oh, I'm seeing an opportunity here to get my friend back for something nice that they did. Maybe I'll get you a capture oh, card. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Keep going, though. What's your story? Um, oh, so, uh, I, I had never been to like, uh, like I got, I went to great clips when I was like 12 years old. Like my mom took me and they butchered my hair, like gave me a legit bowl cut, like legit ass bowl cut. So like, I'm never great going clips there. sucks. I'm never, I'm never going there again. Mom, <laughs> <never>. <laughs> my mom is like, <laughs> my mom's cut my hair. I'm not kidding. Uh, like, ev like every, every haircut I've ever needed since then. And I went to Clifton Barber's and Cody told me like he was the exact same way. His mom always cut his hair. His mom did hair like, like my mom did unprofessionally. And, uh, no, he did it. He did me up real nice. He was like, 
what do we want to do? How do you want to do it? I said, do your thing. He uh, told me weird things about my head that I didn't know. Like, I've got a double crown. I didn't know that. What is that? Um, and so, like, your hair wants to naturally spin one way. My hair wants to spin one way. And then the uh, lower half of that circle wants to go another. It's something like what I have, too. That's interesting. It, it, people yeah. bitch about it all the time when they cut your hair. Like, this is the weirdest shit ever. But Cody knows what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, it was, it was wonderful. Uh, my... My the back of my head feels great. He like straight razor my neck. It was awesome. Uh, my girlfriend loves to point out that sometimes I get one or two long eyebrow hairs. That dude cut my eyebrows. Swear to God. <laughs> Hell yeah! It was awesome. It was a great experience. If uh, if you haven't been to a barber before or looking for a great barber, go hit up Cody Best or any of the barbers at Clifton Barbershop. Yeah, and uh, it anytime I, I highly recommend it too because I feel like that's Rachel usually cuts cuts my hair and she has the cosmetology license and all this, so she's just been doing it. And then I had another buddy doing it, and then I decided like Cody Best hit me up. He's like, "Hey man, you can come get a haircut whenever you want." And I was like, "You know what? I should probably just do that." He's our sponsor. Let's just do it. And he's my dude. I got to support him. So I went there, and it's like a crazy, interesting experience. Like. They turn all the chair. Did you get this experience, Luke, too, where they turned all the chairs to each other and to have this huge conversation with all the yeah. barbers and all the people? That was like yeah. one of the coolest things ever. Uh, and he's like putting shaving cream on your neck and shit. It's weird. Yeah, it was it was it was funny because uh, apparently the owner of the shop was working there with him and he was hiding bullets around uh, this guy named Brandon Station and like in his lunchbox mm-hmm. and his tooth like his toothbrush container. He was just putting like different sizes of bullets all around this guy's shit it was it was it was pretty funny yeah really good time go check that place out that's where i'm getting my haircut from now on um and they're at uh cody best by the way go hit him up specifically he's at clifton barbers as we just said at 337 ludlow avenue and if you go to their instagram or their facebook you can find his profile you can find all the other stuff he does like his twitch channel and all that pretty cool dude talk about him about anything with him uh, but if you go to Clifton Barbers and yeah. Instagram or Facebook, you can get a link to all the other people that cut hair there. And there's no walk-ins at the moment due to COVID. It's appointment only. There's online booking as well, and it's cash only. And their hours are 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. So go check them out. They're awesome. Cody Best will give you a sweet do, and uh, he'll make you feel pretty special the whole time. Hell yeah. Like me and Luke. Check that bad motherfucker out. Your haircut looks fantastic, oh, I, Luke. I've never seen Pat without his beanie out. on, so I don't know what he looks like. Cody Best is the only one that gets the privilege of seeing the the hair without the beanie. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, he kills it, man. I see the double crown and job. everything. It looks good, dude. Yeah, man. I really like it. I really so like does it your tattoo. Uh, I'm, all, I'm glad you gave him a shout out because uh, Nick Glavin, he kills it, dude, with the tattoos. Me, Luke, Cody, we've all been tattooed by him. And he did this Digimon tattoo for him with this sick, icy kind of color tone with the with the yellow and green mixed with it. It is a solid color tone. It's a great tattoo. He does killer work. I highly recommend hitting him up. He's always booking. Yeah, he's fucking awesome. awesome. Go and check him out for sure. So good. Let me move on to the next one real quick, though. Uh, Hail Dark Aesthetics. Go get some sweet tapestry. Go get a sweet record. Go hang out and talk to Neil and just go to 720 Main Street, Covington, Kentucky, 41011. Uh, go go to the shop, guys. If you like dark shit, you like gothic shit, you want to decorate your place, go there. There's so much cool shit there that you won't find literally anywhere else, uh, at least where you, you don't have to hop online and just hunt it down. You can go and see it in person and see how cool it is. Uh, but they're open um, Monday through Friday, 12 to 7 p.m., 1 uh, to 5 on Sunday. And their store, if you want to go online and actually look at the stuff, it's store.hailcincinnati.com. And you get 10% off, too, if you say Hail Bastard to check out or you let them know you listen to the show. 720 Main Street, Covington, Kentucky, 41011. Uh, go check them out. We're also sponsored by the wonderful, the wonderful Smoke and Vape Shop. Scarlet Vape and Smoke Shop. If you want the best, the greatest, the most wonderful, the prettiest, top of the line, heady glassware for your smokage, you want to head over there. They got the yeah. best. Undeniable. 
top it's shelf with cheap, cheap prices. They're undercutting everywhere else. You go, oh yeah, I know this smoke shop. I got one or, 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 up the street from my house. No, it's garbage. It's ass. All right, <laughs> go hit up Scarlet Vape and Smoke Shop. They know what they're talking about. They got the shit. They got the prices. And if you're wondering where you can find them, you can find them at 11424 Montgomery Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45249. Or you can find them at 937 Mama Street, Newport, Kentucky, 41071. And you better head up there for your smoke glass or for your Kratom. I know you need some Kratom. Go check this place we're out. Also, we're also sponsored by uh, Crunch Bite Gaming. Uh, if you want to head over to Facebook at Crunch Bite Gaming or twitch.tv slash Crunch Bite Gaming and give him a like and a follow, he goes live every Thursday at 1 p.m. and throughout the week, depending on his work schedule. He typically plays older games, Spyro Halo, a whole lot of Monster Hunter recently, some, uh, some Rocket League. Uh, you get the gist. He'll be branching out into some other things with uh, the, the Crunch Bite. Uh, it's it, the the cr- the bunch of crunch i think is what it's called the crunch bunch <laughs> the, the crunch, crunch bunch. bunch it was the beard brig- the beard brigade but it turns out that's already a thing and they reached out and contacted them uh <laughs> oh they didn't even <laughs> google it Damn. they didn't it's think the they google bunch. it before they put it out there what yeah, are you I doing guess, i guess he didn't do too much research but yeah the <laughs> crunch bunch <laughs> uh and he's building a network of streamers uh yeah Go ahead, stay tuned. Seriously, follow that, dude. You remember how fucking hard it was to figure out a name? Like, trying to, like, find something that wasn't taken already? Like, It's tough. No. It's tough, especially in this day and age. Just everything's out there. Did you we have trouble with that, like, Jack? Don't. Yeah, we went through, like, five or six. Yeah, what, did you, what other names did you go by? Oh, fuck. I don't even remember. Uh, I know the one I hated the most, and I was glad somebody had taken it. It, it was a joke, because we, we, had, we had settled that we wanted Macabre in the name. And I think it was Nick or Tyler said, corn on macabre. And I was like, fuck no. We're not going to have a stupid fucking pod. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. That would have uh, been good. Either I Googled it and it already existed, or I lied and said it did because I didn't want to use it. I'm pretty, yeah, sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure it existed. <laughs> That's funny. Who could yeah. blame you? Yeah. How- yeah, that was awful. Luke, how did you figure out the name? I always forget. Uh, I was at work with Joe at Cincinnati Restaurants uh, Equipment Resources. You remember exactly and where you were at and everything? I do, yeah. 4 p.m. Uh, on a Sunday. <laughs> no, I would have been off by then. It was around 12.30, 12.45. The light was just fluttering <laughs> ever so into the room. You could see all the it dust particles in the air. And then like summer. an angel, the, the it name. spoke to him. Yeah, the name but opened I, no, its I butthole don't, I up. I don't remember. I don't remember what it, uh, uh, how I came up with the name specifically, but I just knew like the idea we were going for a show where anybody could come on and talk anything without, like, being judged otherwise. Like, I remember that being like the premise of it, and uh, I don't know. It just came. It just did. Sick. Came yeah, it was sick. It came from the heavens to my pea-sized brain. I have to go get a to Tums. To the world. I have to go get a Tums. I've been having tummy aches. This episode, as all episodes, is sponsored by the amazing, the talented, the incredible, the long dick wizard, Anthony Tank Mansfield. Go and check him out. Neil to no one, K-N-E-E-L-T-O-N-O-O-N-E dot com. We're at the same handle on Instagram. He's got he's a local artist in Cincinnati. He's got a line of awesome beer glasses that you can buy off of him. T-shirts, enamel pens, and custom art starting at $30. And he's the fucking man. We appreciate you for doing the three-year episode. Just go check that guy out. I think he's going to... I think he's dipping his toe in the waters of podcasting. I've been helping him with a couple equipment needs. So be on the fucking lookout. We'll be talking about that. Uh, Check out a Delightfully Macabre podcast. It's on everything. I, I plug the name into my fucking podcast app and I find it. I bet you do the same. You'll get it as well. And go follow them. Them, shit like that. Piercing. Uh, Jack, do you want to stick around for the Patreon? Sure, if you guys will have me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Jack cool. Griffin and Haley Christine up at Atlas Tattoo. Go and fucking get a piercing and a tattoo. Get them both. Is, is that legal? Do they let you do that? I think they you do. Have, have once. If you got we have money. Some, we have some clients who will come to get like tattooed by Haley and pierced by me. It's just become like a tradition for them. 
That's, that's pretty I like cool. those clients because they're ultimately it's my Taco Bell fund. So we should all do that. <laughs> Why doesn't the whole bastard sermon do that? I, I I've been th- I've been thinking about getting another piercing, but I just don't know what I would do. Let me already, I have four. I got four. Get my nipples done. Yeah, dude, man up. Dude, Not my up luck, up. I'd rip so, that shit out. So I would. Porn, rip, I'm gonna scratch my chest and I'm gonna rip that nipple out. <laughs> so, so porn long has been saying the same thing to me for years. If I were to ever pull the trigger on nipple piercing, I'd have to give one of them to her. <laughs> oh, does she pierce too? Yeah, she used to. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I nipples are one of my favorite piercings to do on anyone because, I, like, I'm not going to lie, it sucks to get done, and it is mildly entertaining for me. Um, <laughs> but titties. also, like, I was so nervous to do them initially, and I got good at them. So, yeah, I actually I do enjoy doing those. Yeah. Hell right yeah. On. Go and check them out. All right, we're going to be back for the Patreon. I'm going to go get cool. a Sweet.